catch on to the jump to power. Oh, the genie is very happy. Good bit, like, watching the cutscene, I think, will increase the screen through by a couple of hours at least. And I want this to be a shot or not a part of it. Why the shyness? <laughs> Okay, so as you may or may not know, I have all the armor pieces and weapons so far that we need. Like the only ones which are needed for the trophy that I do not have are the ones that we will get to craft in chapter 5 now. So, you know, I, if I want, can choose to ignore some stuff. But still, for you guys, I'm going to get everything. Like you see, there's a wizard drop here. For now, I'm just going to rush through this area pretty much. We will get to the first bonfire. And also not talk too much because this guy is going to keep talking all the way through. Is this the main way? No, that is the main way. Come over here for a chest. Maybe a lot of LFs out there, right? If you're running low on money, or on ammo or anything in particular, actually. Open that chest, quick! What's in it? <laughs> what petty quiet has... These spiders, I think, just get lost to you in this floor, that is all they do. You can kill them quickly. Nice. That's why it's just torch away. Kill them, they don't have to. But if they get close enough, they explode. What are they dead? Finally. Thank you. Go on. This is a useful chest as far as I remember, like in your first run around. This one will be useful. On top of this, toot. So left my card. And I'll drop this as well, why not? Few seconds, head all there. In this case, you guys will also want to absorb all of this, so. And they hate me, help you with that. Okay, back again, if we go to the right, okay, this is a very annoying enemy, when we just this. Oh, no, no, this is not a good but it's such a good variety. So, I went to there. And then I was wishing to go to the right here. Yeah. Oh, Look at this splendor. You restless monkey! I was talking here! Oh, shut up. I know you are talking. You talk a lot. I am not interested though. What's that? I drop this really if you so wish. Guys, leave. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get poisoned a lot in this one. So build up your poison resistance if you will. Too much time. Here, hey, right here, there is a spirit enemy. Ah, uh, this is hard. This is a good test again. This is something useful. Yeah, 
hard fire will get a new recipe or the will something going on the not a badness. Not a badness is useful for you know leveling up your spirit. Okay, then you come over here. What could this be? Something I ain't missed for sure. Shh. And now you prepare for Okay, now there was something to pick up here that I had left. Left here. But I know this is a villa spot. There's a chest or something here as well, I'm pretty sure. Mm, I could see more not here. Not here. Maybe here. Is this an enemy? Yep, this is an enemy, otherwise it would have been gathered already. There you go, we got snake head mushrooms. On the left, I believe there is nothing. On the right, there is a chest. Some spider enemies will spawn, I believe. Let's get this. Oh, they did not spawn. Now you can run any which way you want here. It's the same. I, I did not see you there though. Okay, two things to get here. I'm gonna get them for you really, really quickly. It's the crush. Everybody dead. Thank you. Thank you for all that. I'm gonna drop this. Okay, now that he has shot me out, oh, yeah, I know where the shine is. Yeah, uh, even the utter trash finds a picker. Pick up this. These monkey head mushrooms and snake head mushrooms are actually very useful because they come handy. They are handy in crafting some of the best formula. Then you don't get to see it for them. So you have to find them in the world. Yeah. Come to this race stop and just beyond this there will be a boss fight and a couple of I, I just need to steal it once again, they're not selling it. So let's go to the boss fight and after the boss fight there is a couple of things you can get right away, I will show you. Hold your monkeys. <laughs> Let me
down. And so that is for now. Whew. Now I can finally talk in peace and move around in peace. Okay, couple of things to get here. Uh, hang on. Alright, so what we're looking for is I think a red. So now we can wine worm. Or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a with some pieces of gold, I believe. Yep. This is an enemy. Blind idiots, a lot of blind idiots. Oh man, this is blind idiots I want to stop. Okay, run down. Okay, now that these are dead, but I can deal with this idiot. And one important chest here. This is some good stuff on your first run. This is an enemy and no thank it much. Over here there is nothing I believe. Over here there is just nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now if you go in here you can drop down to the web hollow there. And there are some mushrooms I believe and maybe a couple of will get us for the what not over here. Just simple stuff. stuff. You can care for this is a pill, I believe. Maybe it's with you. Yep, item converted to will not for the pill. Now before this is where you have to drop down to go for the story part. But before you do, we are going to go back and rest up because that will get us a spirit. Just come over here, rest up. And you can see it is almost daybreak here or like Oh, it did not work. I think you have to go down and then teleport back here. Maybe. I am not so sure. Fell down, got teleported to the web hollow. Just behind you, there is something, there or something. And now we go to, oh yeah, on the right there is a chest. Simple chest, I'm gonna talk. Probably something useful inside. Yeah, there's another studio. 
or general talk and then now if you restart the sign and travel back I think you will get this what I was talking about from the shine travel to the web follow a state of the loop yeah stay break now and now there is a spirit inside this guy There you go, one more spirit for you. And now we can go back to the web hollow proper. All right, people. Moving on from here. Before I move on, let me just tell you one thing that I was, as I told you guys, I was cultivating this ginseng for my steel ginseng, if possible, and I finally got it. So that means I have my brewer's bounty trophy as well. I will maybe add it in the edits or not. I'm not sure, but yeah, I have that trophy, and now just two trophies left, and that means that I don't need any drops from any enemies. So I can just go ahead and change my equipment here. I don't need this golden carp anymore. I think I am going to go with uh, you know the enemies. Yep, celestial watch on fragment. Looks good enough. And with that said, now explore this area. On the right is the main area, the main story path which you have to go to. So explore around here. Here I think there is nothing very useful. Just a will drop maybe. This stupid enemy thinks it can hit me, but cannot actually hit me. There are some spirit points and what not here. Pick up stuff if you want to. I am not going to be picking up a lot of stuff now because, as I said, I have a lot of almost everything at this point. Over here, I think we have... There is an enemy, there is a will point and there is something else pretty annoying over here. Oh, he hit me. I thought he would. Put me on fire. You think it was a good idea to put me on fire, bro? Did you really? Did you really now? Oh, there we go. Can still go up. Nice. So let's gather that will because I have. There is an awakened wine worm over here. I'm not sure, but I believe it is. Come up here and jump up here and you can go all the way up here to a chest I believe yeah. or a pill or something yeah this is maybe a pill maybe a curio maybe a drink and or soak so either or oh, and that is all there is there is this flying I don't think you can go down here, so I think you have to go up now. And this will bring us to where? Where is this bringing me? There is a will spot over there. Okay, now I am a teeny tiny bit confused. You have to break these, all of this stuff for some collectible or something as well. I think there are spiders and what not that will come, keep picking, coming out of the ground here. I honestly don't remember this spot. What is here? What did I do here? I do not remember. Oh, that's it. This is all there is. Fragrant jet flower and this will. Two absorb. Hmm. 
not even a spirit or anything to get. That is bad. That is so so bad. Let's look at what's down here. I don't think there is anything very useful down here. Smash these, these small ones. They can drop something useful from no time. They can definitely give you some will that you might be looking for. Another will absorb point. And I think I will circle back to where I was with this. Let's check up first. Oh, there's a patient. Yeah, there is a spirit of an enemy here. Oi! Alright, everybody die now. It's not dead. Hey, stop it. Cut it out. So this one is a god, I believe. This time I will get something different. Actually, this is a god. I think you get a god here or... Um, I don't know. But something useful, obviously. So that's it for this area. I think I can drop down from here. Yeah, I took some damage. So rest up. That is everything there was to get here, right? Wait, I went up, I did not go here. Let's check here as well. I think there is just... There is a will absorb over there and maybe a chest over there. Everybody dead? Or what? Yeah, everybody is dead. Another one. Why are you alive, bro? This is an enemy, it seems. Oh no, not an enemy. Nice. And this is the final village of over here. So with that said, also, as for the steel ginseng, as I was saying, I just went around the entire map that I've unlocked and picked up every piece of ginseng I could. Because I got annoyed just going to that Towers of Karma area. I went to the Chapter 1 area. I think it was uh, outside the forest shrine that I went to. And that is where I actually got my steel ginseng. So this guy is one of it up. This is good. Annoying enemies. Okay. Okay, this guy is dead. That guy is going to keep shooting at me. So run away from this. You can fall down here for the main way. And I don't think there is much to explore above, but let's do that. There is some backtracking involved here in this initial area. Not too much and it's not too annoying either. I did not rest up by the way in my excitement, did I? Nope, did not. I forgot! I forgot people, I am sorry. It happened. Now these ones you keep smashing them, enemies keep popping out of these. Choose to smash everyone, choose not to smash everyone at all. Okay, these guys are dead. Mm, this is everything on the floor. Everybody dead? Uh, 
Oh, these guys do a lot of poison build up, man. I forgot. Nothing else here. Nothing else here. Nothing else here. Something on the left. Oh, there's one more guy. Maybe I should start ignoring things will absorb, but uh... this dumb clown is shooting arrows at me. Let me kill him first. Or I do anything else. You die, man. Okay. Guys, these things they might give you something useful. They might not. You never know. Okay, something on the right before I go left. Let's check it out. Yeah, spirit or die. Die now, bro. And there you go, blood of the iron bull. Now open this chest up. This might be a god. I don't know. Useful chest. We're opening everything up. Hey, we got gold tree core. And mind core. We can absorb this. And convert it where it to will. Okay, moving on. Something over here. There is an alpha here, but nothing in it. Huh. I think there's supposed to be a secret here, or maybe something here that I've already picked up. Make sure to check it out, guys. Okay. Now, from here, I'm pretty sure I can drop down. And I will be at a particular area. Let's see where this leads. Explore one end completely. There is a drop here. Another drop over here, I believe. Yeah, there is nothing over here. Hey. Is there something over there? No. Drop there. Okay, so when you have dropped here, you can drop there as well, it seems. Okay. Okay, there's a shrine below me. Let me get to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, nothing, I just drop. Oh, it's Come on, hit me with the arrow, you idiot. Okay, you need to die, arrow guy.
Man, your turn to die as well, bro. Meh. Right by my dodge. And snake head mushroom. Now this is... The Verder Bridge. Okay, rest up finally. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to travel back to the upper, upper hollow. The reason I'm here is because there is a secret boss fight and also the level up grind area which we are going to visit now and that can only be accessed from here. So ignoring everything, just come here, come down here, keep coming down here and drop down here. Once you drop down here, I you're supposed to drop down here and well once you're here you start killing stuff. These guys also have a lot more health than I actually want them to have. Is that it is still shooting me with his arrows or what? Uh, so steel ginseng is actually a good drink or soap, whatever you want to call it, because with steel ginseng it means that you get a little bit of focus when you use your word. But now these are... As you guys know... Okay, enough of that. That was me just monkeying around. I think you're supposed to go left. Oh crap, plastic, you lock onto everything over here. Okay, and then there is the chest here. Totally covered by this new Huh. Open it up. This will be blood of the iron bull. Maybe something useful as well in here, but I did not care to check. Oh. Then once. You are actually here. Yeah, you kill this guy. Oh, you dumb clown. Arrow guys are the most annoying guys in this whole level. These are the only annoying guys in this whole level actually. And yes, they are truly, truly annoying. I thought there is something on the right. I was wrong. Over here there is a spirit enemy I believe. Somewhere over there. Just give me a second to check it out. Killed a few, that is all I wanted to kill actually right now. Okay. Mm Another one of these guys right here will drop down on my butt. And there is one right below. Uh, no, right now. 
Yeah, here's the fucking bumper. Okay, now they're just fucking on his head. Alright, one more guy. Okay, now give me a second to explore this area. Where is the shrine that I'm looking for? Um, maybe you go around here only. Feel like I'm missing something. I may be missing something, may not be missing something. Not exactly sure, are we? Oh yeah, over here. Once you come here, you come here to the right, there's a meditation spot here. You meditate. I'm gonna skip this. Mm. Come over here. This is the one we had been looking for, I believe. Right, pool of shattered jade. So rest here in the pool of shattered jade. Go to set spells and in your transformation get azure dust or ashen slumber it is yeah ashen slumber so you need to get and once one more time i am going to show you guys how you are supposed to level yourself up see that that is how you level up Everyone cleared up and you're leveled up. And this is the Venom Daoist boss fight. For this guy to get the drop for him, you have to get the what you call it. Like you have to make sure you get the break his arm. Yeah, break his arm. You have to make sure you break his arm by fighting him. Otherwise, you don't get the Vajra arm guard. They become missable. And well, once they become missable. You will have to do a entire playthrough to get them. I already got them in my last playthrough, so I am just going to kick this guy's butt. But the trick is to get behind him and hit him with light attacks. Don't use any heavy attacks or anything. Freeze him, get behind him, use heavy attacks. Sorry, light attacks. I will first test your worth. There you go. I think I broke off one of them. He's six arms behind him, and you have to break, I think, four of them. You know, get behind him. There you go. One of his arms is broken now. There you go, he's going to disappear now. And technically you get the Vajra Arm Guards, but I will not get anything. Because I was mainly not aiming for his arms. And secondly, already have it. There is a chest here, I think. Isn't it? That all these chests are open. I think maybe in the first turn you get a chest here or something. Right now all of these are open. This Venom Daoist idiot came here and opened all of them. I think he got his arms from each of these chests. But anyway, this is the trick. I've shown you how to level up. I've shown you how to kill the Venom Daoist. And that is all you should care about, folks.
go back here and rest up and then we move on all righty people rested up let's finish this area this brings us across from the upper hollow shrine if you guys can see we have been already on and done everything that way and now we heading back there is something to fight here i think i am not very sure i think we can go down oh no we came from down there there is a will gather point over here if you wish gather it and then you can go this way i think you can pretty much go this way kill this guy for sure what is happening wait what am i stuck in he's dead I'm stuck in geometry a bit and there is a way down there Or that does this take me back to the pool of shattered jade or what? Uh, this does nothing for me actually. This does nothing for me either. This has a plant here, licorice. Probably. Now where we are? Where are we at? Oh, so we're back at the shrine. And this area, I think we've already explored. So that area is explored. We just keep falling down, down, down. And this shrine we were already at. We did not explore around this shrine. Now we are going to get into a couple of cut scenes. Find some people. Fight some people. Does not fall down, right? Yeah, does not fall down. Okay. Ah, this will trigger a cut scene. Before I go there, let's check here. What's in here? Nothing in here. Some tiny tiny spider limbs. Exploding spider limbs. Oh, am I in combat or what? Oh. Cut it out, will you? Okay. Uh -huh. It's gonna make me fall down somewhere. Let's pick this up. You know what? I'm going to go and trigger the cuts here. I'm getting confused which way to go first. Let's go the obvious way. I think we are gonna go do a boss fight now. Don't 
think there is anything useful over here. Cannot go there yet. So we turn around and we go here. And from here we get nothing. Okay, there is something of use maybe over here. No, I think I'm going too distracted. Yeah, I am going the wrong way now for sure. There is stuff here, but of course gotta go and do the other stuff first. I am so confused. Sorry for this. I think I'm just gonna you know yeah, skip this. Yeah, now over here there are a lot of chests that you can open some of them have useful equipment maybe some armor pieces or something yeah, you get fine gold threads and other materials the item converted into will as I said lots of stuff in this chest gold rich beast And another item that is converted into will. And now here we are going to fight the elder Amorvam first. Uh, let's go and fight it. my transformation man that's a are you done thank you okay now this actually is a quest this guy will drop something or I think we already have it Okay, I think because I've already done it, you won't get it, but he gives you some sort of seed sapling or something. And then you have to go to your village in Ruiz for, uh, like, uh, you know, the Ruiz scroll village entrance. And in the village, you can actually, you know, do I go here or do I go there? I just came from there, right? This is if I had gone down that way. Oh, and that would have been down this way, same. Let me just confirm my suspicions. Go here, if you keep going here, if you keep going here, keep going here, keep going here, and keep going here. Are we arriving at the same freaking conclusion? Yeah, we are arriving at the same freaking conclusion that we are waiting through this Okay Once you move in through here You can now go left or right So let's go left Check out this left My name is here 
Okay, so sure there's gonna be someone who might drop down over there. Okay, and over here, oh yeah, we have a spirit. Grab and Luigi Fragrant Wine. Dropped me down, bro. I need to get back up. Okay, let's check what the E is. This water. Okay, I cannot go any further down, but I can go down that way. Anywho, without going down that way, pick this up. Okay, there is, I'm pretty sure, a drink here. You see this spot? There is a drink or something here. I already have it, so cannot pick it up, unfortunately. This is the fragrant wine. Get it. Item again converted into will. That item is converted into will. This M1. There is nothing to get over here. That means, now do I go up or do I go down? Let's go up for a second. This if you must bit of a labyrinthian area go around in circles and circles so you don't know what is the right way to go and do stuff this is another small just curio soak or pill and either and probably a curio this one Something here as well to pick up, and I think maybe that I have already picked it up. I am not getting it. Uh, come over here, there's the cutscene. Same woman is going to try to open this. You have to pull three or four of these. So come over here, and you can pull this. There you go, that's the first one. Now... Little bit of backtracking, sorry. I want to go see what's down there. If there is actually something down there, because this one for sure is the main route. Saw that guy, but I decided not to fire shoot that guy, and that has landed me in some trouble, hasn't it? Hmm. 
He's gonna keep shooting at me. Let's see what happens when I run straight. Straight through, straight through. Are I lock onto this idiot, man? There you go, uglies. Oh yeah. Maybe we get the spirit of this guy. Everybody die, please. Oh no, just one of you died. Hey, you got told you there's one more spirit here to get, and I got it. The spirit has been converted into will, and now what? Now where do we go from? A lot of these cocoons you can smash them for some stuff if you so desire, but I am not interested actually. So, will moving on. at me from up there, dick move bro. You got me. You got me poison! Dumb flying archer. Pretty pretty annoying. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, seems like a long way I'm traveling through. Where am I going? Okay, I'm at a shrine. And this one is... Bone Vault. Okay. Let's rest up, what the hell. I am a bit confused what am I, what I am doing and where I am going, but don't worry. Get my head soon. Uh -huh. ah, this will lead to the centipede guy boss fight. Okay. Got it. So that was bo so I just need to get to my shine at bone vault and do the centipede boy boss fight. Now I actually know where I am and where what I'm doing and where I'm going. So let us travel to our dear bridge. And one aspect of this sign that we have not thoroughly explored and that is Okay, fall down. Whatever is supposed to happen shall happen. Okay. This way I have already gone, right?
This is the way I have to go. Dumb guy. Dumb, dumb guys, you die here. Okay, this direction. Where does this direction? I think this will lead to my horse side. Yeah, this is your horse in this direction. Don't think I came here, man. Okay, I'm at a new shrine now. This is oh meditation spot first. Let's meditate. Okay, this is gonna prove a little bit cumbersome, but still we are making a lot good progress than we are making in chapter three. Like this is being speedy, this is being fast, this is being cool, good. That's what we wanted. Not this is it. This is it. One more. Okay. Now you are middle hollow. Oh, good enough. Middle hollow. Just a chest. Supposed to be something good there. I just got refined iron sand. That is the route to bone vault. I believe. strongly do believe. lead to this centipede guy. All right, was my time. This time I am focused on dodging. Because it caused a lot of injury. Uh, just run, 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 and run, and run.
Let me just burn to death, I think scientific guy. There you go. Told you, easy peasy. I just messed it up once. Because of this ball attack. I was low on health and I thought, hey, I can take him. Turns out he could take me. So, not of whiteness, cold three core. And spirit converted into will. Now we can move on and do the Buddha's right hand quest. I mean, Buddha's right hand boss fight. Uh, this area pretty pretty much straight straight forward. There be some snake heads getting up. I am not interested in them at all. Now there is nothing there, so we move on. Go all the way down there. Get some will if you want. I am not bothered. Oh yeah, here is my horse and He's right in the way, I did not know that it was this easy to get in. This is our horse and kissing. Grim and dire is this land. I came here from the new west for the wisdom of the hundred eyed one. But he shut his doors and made me prisoner in this lair. Tales speak of these insatiable spider guise. They could use a strong male like me to consume and practice. <sighs> Much I owe you today, my friend. <sighs> Without your help, along the way, I would see no more of the flaming mountains. <sighs> There it is it. That is our horse and PC encounter of chapter 4. Could not skip that cutscene, so you had to listen to it. Never heard but they say after the sage if the destiny the great say my plea for aid, my mind, if none shall aid, should our part now. My plea for aid, my mind, if none sh should our part now. Okay, that's that. Moving on. Moving on on. Are you going to cut it out or what, bro? Thank you. Cool combo he was hitting me with. He must have been so happy to be able to hit me. Dying Dumbo trying to hit me with this combo. There you are, there you are. Come here. Okay, am I at the Buddha now? I almost there. Uh, there is the second one for you to pick up. There is a meditation spot or something here, is it? I think. No. This is the second one you need to remove. I think there is just one left to remove now. Yep. This will get you another pill or something. Here somewhere. This is all I could hear at all this one as well. Okay. 
And open this chest up. Blood of the Iron Bull, maybe not of whiteness as well. Oh, this is where I came from, this is where I'm going. Rest up here because right after this there's the boss fight. Don't go. If of oblivion. Okay, yeah. Don't go over here and fall down over here. You might think this is an area or something. This is just the area that you came from and this will cause you'll take great fall damage and you'll have to face all these enemies again. This is a boss fight with this to the right hand. Examine this, it will try to hit you. Yeah. And now you're up against the hand. Hey, blink me. Oh man, tons of, tons of poison damage! There you go. That poison damage almost hurt me. Now this guy will turn into a bridge for us because that spider lady is going to catch him and that's it. This is a good cutscene but we don't have time for that. Now this area, very tricky area. I don't think you can fall down from this hand but then you can fall down from almost everything. So first and foremost go up here for a pill I believe. Yeah, come up here and you will get a pill. Right, and once you come here, back here, oh, don't fall there, you have to fall here, bro. Okay, now from here, there are two directions you can go to. You can either go to the left or you can go to the right. Whichever way you so choose, there is some exploration to do in either direction. Like you see this, this, and this. Will come up area from here you can either drop down there if you go there that's a whole area to explore of its own and if you go here that is another whole area to explore on its own i don't know should i go left or should i go right i am feeling like going left so we're going to explore left thoroughly then we'll come back to the shrine with buddha's right hand or whatever and then we are going to explore right thoroughly right people am i right or am i right I know I am right. I just don't know how right I am. So go through this bridge and keep going. Long bridge, long, long, long bridge. There you see. Go through the bridge. And we are here, now there is a meditation sort of a snake there, we don't worry. Oh, this one does not break, it looks like it should break. 
But sadly it does not. There is a chest over here. Oh, grab this. Five minutes you take to get up and you die in two seconds. What the crap man? Is the meditation spot here, right? Mm, tell me there is one where is it here? Not here for sure. Mm. Not here either. Is it somewhere ahead of me? Okay, now this area is very tricky because these guys are going to try and kill you. So my advice, go into cloud step and make sure you're walking straight. Okay. Don't fall down. Don't even try to absorb this. Just focus on getting through this and all the way over here and killing this guy. You see? These... Whatever you wish to call them. Oh, now we are going to do the loom. I forgot that. Fragrant wine over there. We should take that. Come over here, gather this. This is an enemy. Oh crap, that's it. That is friend up. And here you see the what did. That means there is a loom enemy here. You are going to fight the yellow loom now. And this yellow loom, I tell you, this is like the toughest. This is one of the toughest boss of the entire game. Entire game, I mean. You go through here, you'll fight the yellow loom. Now, yellow loom, I am telling you, toughest boss fight of the entire game. This guy. So rest up, make sure you are fully, fully, fully equipped to fight this guy. Let me just check for a second. I have attention powder. What does it do? No, I don't need that. Don't if I take option. Maximum stamina for a long time. I like it. Mirage will considerable amount of my no. Longevity decoction, maximum health for a long duration. No, no, no. Bloom or amplification pair. Yeah. And enhanced tiger sub bloom. Enhanced tiger sub doing pellets. This is what we should be having. 
I need to change my curios as well to ignore his four gun resistance and I need to change my tra transformation to the monkey or should I go with the yellow loom versus yellow loom boss fight? Umbrella violet hell no as you dome is the monkey. Dark Thunder What's going on? Immune to Thunder damage Inflict Thunder Bane on enemy Ooh I've never fought with Horse Boy though Immunity to Shock Yeah I have Immunity to Shock when I transform now Whew So Yellow Lung fight Gonna be attack all right, yellow loom. Let's kick your butt. We meet on a friend at our shop. We meet on a friend at our shop. We meet on a This first fight will lead to a trophy, Our and you'll get a new weapon as well. The celestial court. And you can pick up his spear for this transformation. And we got Kunsti. Congratulations. There you go, golden lighting. The transformation which I did not get the chance to use last time. Also not this time. <laughs> and the golden cap curio as well. Now this is the one which increases the drop rate of items and equipment. And you have it. Congratulations. Now I'm gonna rest up. Okay, now with the yellow loom dead, we are free to explore the rest of this area. Over here there is nothing. Over there there is... Oh, this cotton guy is it? Okay, let him. On the right, where is a spirit tree? Hang on. Yeah, on the right there is a spirit you can get. And that guy is going to start shooting here all over. Oh, what's that man? I'm stuck and I'm dying. Mm, this guy 
is dead. Okay, I need to take his spirit now. I can just get converted into well. Nothing beyond that over there. Uh, if you fall down, you fall down to the place where the plane from, so don't fall down. Now we need to take care of that archer up top. Uh, you know this way. Take up this ship to it. And then we will be at uh, that is just the very way that we saw from the other side when we fought here, you know, we saw this. We killed that guy and saw this. From where the big day, big day people were shouting. Oh, oh this guy is really angry, huh? Right, there is something on the left, there is something. Remove this one. And this is like the final one. After, now there's just one left, and that one is pretty much in your way, so you, it's going to be hard to miss. I mean, it will take a teeny tiny bit of exploring to do and get, but still pretty hard to miss, I would say. That is just a very other point over here. There is a chest and some enemy is going to aggro me for sure. Yeah. There is that guy who was shooting at us. Open the chest up. Let's get the secondary heart fire ready and you can just touch that. Okay. And you can fall down from here. And you the one I just killed. Now you can go back to where you came from, I believe. Not through there. Not through there either. Oh. Through there, but we got this bit. My bad. Not sure if you can fall down through there as well, but I'm pretty sure it will take some decent amount of fall damage if you fall down from here. Took some fall damage. As I said, and this is where we have fallen down to, this is the chest we have already opened and this will bring us back on the ledge with all those creepy crawlies so now we can ignore all that and move through back to the bridge you guys can take a telephone and teleport back to the shrine that was just before the buddha's right hand or left hand whatever, yeah buddha's right hand I mean I'm taking this way and oh, not through this way, through this way, and this is where we would have come from, I believe, right? Yeah, this is where we would have come from. Now we are supposed to go in this direction. In this area there are a couple of chests and a lot of these flying annoying enemies. I told you, flying enemies always annoy the crap out of me. So you go through here and I think you will enter the cutscene. 
No, to skip it because this is all those. Let's start up the default. She's taken control of the over there. And we saw what they are doing to him. And once you see what they are doing to him, you're like, oh my god, please don't do this. But they do not listen. Oh, if I fall down there, there is actually a lot of crap down there that I... Actually not in the mood to deal with. Who is shooting at me man? Okay, there is some spider somewhere who is shooting at me. Pretty sure it is the dumb. Two dumb spiders he shoot up my will gather. Sorry, thank you. Okay, now here we are, and here we are, and yeah, this area. Who goes there? I want I had enough of you already. Okay, now underneath this, there are some enemies. First, let's go take a lap around this and see what there out with you guys that one dead now your turn playing with it Like I said, these guys are super annoying. Okay, got him. Not the, do they just keep spawning on Tennessee or what? Oh. I think they just keep spawning for some reason. There's one more after this and I'm pretty sure they keep on. Okay, apparently they do stop eventually after annoying the living crap out of me. Ooh!
Oh. Oh no, I hear a super annoying idea, man. This place is just annoying. And this one is a card or something useful for sure. Otherwise, I don't see the point of having something like this in uh, such and such a such a such an annoying area. Now we get out of here and we move on. I can thankfully ignore all these enemies now. Pretty sure there's nothing else here that is of use. And we can move on. That idiot you see the one shooting arrow at me, we are going to go and kick his butt. That is top priority right now. Kicking his butt. So go up here, there's a meditation spot here. Sit here and... Here's a real building for a minute. And then you turn around and enter this alcove right here. And then here's the idiot annoying person. And after this we go fight the frog of this area. You can fall down there to pick up that will if you so desire. I am not doing it. Also if you fall down from here or somewhere I think you will be at the shrine of this area. Before that of course there is one frog in every chapter killing all of them will where are there no minions on? And Come on, minions, you did nothing here. Or maybe you did something here with the final hit. Wait, do we get now? These frogs don't drop their spirits, you get tadpole from them. And that is it. You can absorb this for 3 charges of your god. And then go right first and activate the shrine. A lot of these fighters will wake up and try to annoy the crap out of you don't worry about it just keep going 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 and going and over here you can rest up whatever you want to do so rest up here and then this is the area we would have eventually come from if we had not gone to the meditation secret area. And after that just ignore these spiders and run. They don't give any decent amount of experience or anything that you should be worried about them. This guy here needs to be Is 
he said, keep moving, keep moving, we are about to enter another boss fight area, I believe. Now you are about to fight your own friend, the Bikring Idiot Zuba Ah oh, man, throw them in the ass. Just the first phase of this fight. I should throw something. Yes, there's in for something now. Oh. We get to rest after this fight. This is cool. And it broke through this area. Now uh, this will lead to some cool boss and fight and comes going. Okay, I'm making pretty good progress. I think within half an hour we'll be done with chapter 4. I could try and do a speedrun or stuff but you know. That means uh, I can use all the glitches of the game and other stuff. Time. I am not I in am the mood for that. You won't make me leave again. <laughs> Kill me, bro. Thank <laughs> you. 
I have heard it with you, bro. Look, first face down, I think. No, now it's going to transform into different beasts. defeated okay find gold thread find some other stuff and then we can go through here to activate the next shrine there's a chest over here Got nothing over here a little dark area so causing me some concern This is a shrine over here. Use it, rest up, and we are about to get into another boss fight, I believe. Not until boss fight right away. A little bit of exploration here. There is another skanda we can find in here. That is right over there. Now before that, do I want to explore this side? I think I do not. Okay, that way. Uh, it's not supposed to. You have to get into the water to get this panda. Otherwise, it is pretty much useless. And there is one or more that you can get here. See? There is our monkey sitting on there. It's over there. And he's going to jump away. This one, I believe, is the final skanda, right? This is skanda of choice. Only four skandas you need to pick up as far as I remember. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, who is shooting you? Shooting at me, I don't know where. Oh, there's another. I have to go further up, people. 
Ah, oh, we have to go up through here. I did not notice. Sorry, my bad. Thanks to the archer for shooting at me. Open this chest up. Oh yeah, this archer. Ah, oh, annoying beauty archer. Thank you for dying, bro. We told you there was a spirit there. Okay, gun what spirits do well. Dumb, dumb idiot. Oh, pretty full of my golf cart. Almost always a full golf cart. This is an enemy. Pretty sure, yep, this is an enemy. Snaker and monkey head, nothing else of you there. Some enemies will pop up here or there. I am not paying any attention to them. They are not paying any attention to these guys. Something up there and something out. Oh no, there's just a little other spot I'm going to ignore. If I can use it, to use your of desire. I'm going to keep moving on. Be careful on these ledges, there is a possibility you fall down from here and yeah, I'm not gonna like the trip back or the fall damage that you take. The game says if you dodge just before you hit the ground you can actually mitigate the damage but I have never been able to do so so far. I'm not even actually tried really hard but <coughs> whenever I tried I failed. Okay, now there is another spider boss fight. This spider is a bit tougher than the last one. Monkeys, the bane of my life. Why do you always have to ruin my plans? In what way am I any less than monkeys? This monkey that you love. I'll chop his heart, slice his liver, and make you leave!
Am I grab that or Now this will trigger a cutscene where we have to run away from all the spiders, so... All these spiders keep escaping. Go after her! She has the relic! Go! I can take care of myself! Where is the spider battle? Run for your life! Ah, look at the amount of spiders moving. And then that is it. Come over here, you find a luge of fragrant wine. And I think we are going to go to another shrine here. Yes. Temple of Yellow Flower. Oh, the shrine. Sorry. Did not see you there, shiny. Right there. If you care, I do not. I will follow enemies. I can kick all of them, but it is a lot of enemies here. Also, we will be doing poison damage. And if not, but as I said, I will follow enemies. Oops, to fight. I did. Let's stop it. Are you done, bro? Another small test here. Open it up. There you go. This one is up there, I believe. Okay, now a couple of tough enemies. And I've had it there, the poison causing attack. Yep, there's a way up. Oh, we have to go there. 
Is there no one around on right? Another mushroom enemy. <laughs> now all these enemies drop something, you know, not this one. around bro hmm. what is this here? I do not actually remember when this or maybe this is the way oh Mandalorian this is the way Always take a little tiny tiny bit of fall damage. I do, I do. You see, like this enemy, you see the tiger head one. You can farm him for a fury or a so. I think you farm him for a fury. And then there's this enemy. Not this enemy. Then the other snake head one I told you. You farm them for something as well. I'm not sure. This one, this guy, you definitely found him for something. So it's just the farming one. Like I'll tell you about farming everyone, as I have been telling you so far. But now, like there, you, there you will find a lot of these enemies, so you can easily farm them. Don't think that you are going to be in any trouble with them. And at some checkpoint, there are a ton of them you can farm. So you will get your curio that you are looking for. People, don't worry. If the drop rate is not good for you, then just equip the golden carp and the uh, turtle mask of turtle treasure. Because that increases the drop rate of the item. Okay, that's it. Another of the tiger enemies. Hey. Yeah, this enemy also you found for something. That will if you so desire. <laughs> we are in no hey. rush. Big move, bro. Total dick move. Okay, I think we're coming up to the final meditation spot. There, no, no, the second last meditation spot. There are. There is one more meditation spot that I know for sure after this. But this one is on the left over here, I believe. Get this guy cut. And then you pick this up. And 
and over here you see meditation spot. Sit here, meditate. meditation is now giving me just enough experience to get halfway upper level all the way upper level on the right I don't know what is there oh these are spawns of course on down here I think there is a chest or something maybe Restart and nothing here. Seriously, I think there's a chest here. Some just will absorb. Unfortunately, no chest. Okay then. Mm, coming up to another boss fight. Not a tough boss fight, but definitely an annoying boss fight. This guy a little bit useful as a spirit. Mm, and there's this short chest. Whatever that is. And I something over here. There is a chest over there, a teeny tiny chest. Not guarded by any enemy, apparently. It is a good thing. So, with that out of the way, we can go here and hit this enemy. Everyone dead. Oh, nice. Mm. Okay, nothing over here. I thought I remembered a chest or something else over here as well, but apparently there is nothing. 
So we move on and I think we are about to come to another shrine. Yay! Oh! You thought I hit him. Congratulations. Fumbling baboon. Whew. Finally. Rest of air. All right, folks. Now that we have rested up, I actually want to show you a quest that you have to do. Uh, let me show it to you quickly. Travel to the Rui Scroll and Village address. Now you guys might remember that Elder Amorworm we found. Uh, this is something you have to do in your natural playthrough if you have found all the seeds and all the other things. Like once you find all the seeds, you can talk to this guy and you can tell him that you have found all the seeds and then you get the option to talk to him and like right now i only get the option to harvest ingredients but if you do find all the seeds uh you get the option to talk to this guy and he tells you that he gives you a drink and soap like a graceful orchid or something which is actually helpful also when you have killed elder amorva if you talk to him and you go rest up the elder amorva will be there will be a pot here with that elder amor worm type uh, plant like that worm in the pot so then you need rice cocoons rice cocoons you get from uh, breaking down what do you say the those husk we saw in the web hello you know those little web balls we were like we broke like 10000 of them already i believe so you must have something from them from those cocoons those spider cocoons right from some some of them the spider pop some worms pop and most of them are empty so you rest here you come over here you rest up you can only do it once per cycle rest up okay when you rest up you will see the elden amorum over the hair and over here you can feed in the rice cocoon okay then go back again rest up come back again give him the rice cocoon then go back again and come back you have to do this a total of 3 times after you done it 3 times when you rest and you come back you can harvest his spirit that is how you get the elder amorum spirit right this is a trick that you need to know and that is the only thing i think uh, quest that i will not be able to actually show you in my new game plus walk through rest everything i can do so traveling back to temple entrance okay we are at temple entrance and now i'm going to show you some other stuff that you can get from this place it is nothing here right Okay, there is will there if you want to gather there might be an enemy sleeping there I don't think it matters but uh, it might matter to you might be low on will you never know so come over here this is a big area pretty big decent area i can hear some enemies but i don't see any oh, i can hear enemies i am hearing or what yeah this area okay now in this area there are a lot of these enemies uh, like that tiger uh, sheriff or something whatever snake sheriff that guy drops his spirit and you can farm these guys for whatever they drop so you can farm all of them there are a lot of them as i am telling you any drink or soap or anything they have you can actually farm them I will have to check the guide or something to say, tell you what there is, but they do drop something. They either drop a curio. Hey, don't poison me, Combo. I have less poison resistance. One more guy over here. Okay, then there is a meditation spot over here. Oh, all these guys die in pool of acid, pool of poison mining. Use the meditation spot, you get one more spark out of it. Congratulations. I am not even getting sparks out of it. I am just getting experience. It takes me half way to leveling up. 
Then there are more guys there. You can keep. I'm just killing all of them because I'm telling you all the guys you can farm. I'm showing you there's one here, and there's one on the right and one on the left. Oh, die, bro. Man, everyone is poisoning me or what? Okay, now I'm getting angry. Is he dead or what? Oh, he's dead. Okay, just let me check anything else useful over here. Oh, yeah, I can absorb this will. The first thing. And there's another guy right there. You see him? He's right there. He's right there. Don't tell me I don't see him. And there are two of you. And I got poisoned. Fantastic. And this guy will have. Oi! Broke my heavy attack. You wanna broke my heavy attack, eh? Are you? You're starting to get me out, bro. There you go. Healer and healer, and there you go, as always. And moving on inside here, you find the old man NPC. This is your chapter 4 encounter of the old man. Talk Do to him. Enjoy within the Love and a broken mirror can tell Master Piggy, immortal one in her webbed prison, immortal ones from above in her webbed prison. There you go. He's repeating his lines now, and right behind him, there's an awakened wine worm over here, and that's it. So, this is the area you can farm any of these people in this area. The tiger sheriff dropped something for sure. That enemy will not respawn, other enemies will, but they also drop something useful. And there are other uh, that snake sheriff or tiger sheriff, whatever his name is. I have the portrait so I can check the name, but right now I'm not interested. There is nothing here, so moving on. This. Keep gathering what you can. Alrighty. One poison snake guy or someone is sleeping here or walking here. Uh, I'm not caught by Zern. Not yet so far. Bye, bro. Thank you. Now on the left is the final boss fight. Uh, before we do that, let's do the secret area or wait, let's do one more quest. The ribbons that we've been collecting so far. Huh? Okay, beginning to waste me out again, bro.
Okay, let me tell you something about this boss fight. But before that, there's a shrine. Let's come over here. Not going to rest because I don't need to rest right now. But you come over here and you will uh, find the final ribbon. You take this, you will be attacked by a boss. You only have to take down like 20% or some of his health. Uh, all of it and he will run away. This is a bossy fight later on. Oh wait, I can skip it. I forgot. My bad. No, oh, grab attack. Grab attack. Run away. That's it. And behind him, you find a pill that I think uh, maximizes everything. Like it will raise your. No, no, this is just a stamina pill, I think. Yeah, but anyway, now he's gone. There's nothing here. <coughs> Sorry. And there is uh, nothing here. Got a little bit of a cup going on. So <coughs> you might hear me. Uh, like you might hear an old man taking his last breath during this final part of the stream. But well, what can you do? Okay, now when you go here, just as you start from the door, like you see this door uh, or this breakway. Whatever. Just as you cross it, the cutscene will trigger for the final boss fight. But on the left and on the right, there are some chests. You will not get them on the first try. You either have to kill the boss, like die from the boss, sorry, I mean. You either have to die from the boss, resurrect and then pick up those. These chests don't have anything particularly useful, but yeah, they have gold and other stuff that you might be interested in. Or you will have to come back here, because if you kill the boss in your first try, you will have to come back here, travel back here from the next chapter and then get it. So that is something I thought you guys should know. This guy over here, take his butt. Okay, I'm really pissed with whatever you're doing. But before that, there is a lot to take care of here. So let's take care of everything we can take care of here. As a gentian, I think you can get gentian seeds, so gather it. Uh, let me show you two things that we can do. No, a lot of things that we can do actually. The three, four things that we need to pick up. Now if you go up there, uh, we have to go up there, sorry. Once you go up there, there will be, you will get to a point where there are two pathways. Yeah, this is the pathway. This one leads to the secret area before we get to the secret area. Let's quickly, really quickly, grab to a secret boss. Teeny tiny secret boss. But a secret boss nonetheless. You see all these, these are snakehead funguses. One of them is a boss. One of them is gonna wake up and be a boss. Right. You can actually come to this place to farm snakehead mushrooms because you don't actually get the... What is there? What are you doing in here, bro? Okay, you poison me, bro. Okay, this guy spins like anything.
Hey, I'm gonna die. There you go, punchy woman. He's not dead yet. No. Punchy woman survived this. Just one hit, huh? Just one teeny tiny hit. But survived my heavy attack at that level, low health. Impressive. So there you go. There you get the punchy woman spirit. More mushrooms for you to pick up. There is a drink here. You see this place? There is a drink here. You can pick up that drink. I don't know which drink, but there is a drink here. So that is all for this area. Then you travel back. And now you are going to do the Venom Taoist boss fight for the second time. But this encounter actually only happens if you have killed him the first time. I've already shown you where to kill him the first time. This is the guy we were taking, trying to break his four arms off. You have to break his four arms in the first fight so that you get the Vajra arm guard. Yeah, Vajra arm guard or I don't know whatever arm guard, but you have to break him for an armor piece or otherwise you will be stuck. You see, he's only has two hands behind him now. Now you can do it. In compensation, I'll claim yours. Okay, now he's going to be a bit tricky. He's not going to be as easy as he has been in the first place. Yeah. Okay, I've had it with you when I'm down. Okay, that was first round. All his arms are already broken. So you will get a cutscene and the way to the secret area will open. Now you can go in through that wall. Before we go in through that wall though, there is a collectible over here. There are a couple of chests and whatnot over here as well, but there is a teeny tiny studio or something here. I think it's on the right. This is a chest. I'm not sure, but maybe there is a drink on this. I could be wrong. Maybe. Yes, maybe. You get a soul remigration pill, which is good, I believe. I believe it is good. And over here there is a teeny tiny chest. Where are you tiny chest? And this tiny chest always are always successful in eluding me. Come on tiny chest, show yourself. Come on tiny chest. Come on tiny chest, don't do this to me. Where are you tiny chest? Not there for sure, not there for sure. Now I'm faced. I'm angry. I'm upset. Maybe the tiny chest is right next to the soul remigration pill. And I already have it, so I'm not seeing it. Something like that. Just there is a tiny chest in this area. Oh, look out for it. 
Ooh, right for me to look at it. These guys are just standing there. I thought the tiny chest would be here, but it's not here. I thought the tiny chest would be over here, but it's not here either. Not here either, not here either, and not here either. I don't see it. Maybe I have it already. That is why I'm not seeing it. So, pretty sure that is the reason. But just look in this area, like be thorough in that area and you will find it. Now, go through this. Okay, now we are at the uh, village or something, I don't know. I mean, this is a secret area. There is, uh, there are a couple of things to do here. First things first, yeah, purple cloud mountain. See that going up there? There is a story about it. I have forgotten it actually. There is a snake here you need to talk to. For the secret area. I think you do end up talking to this before that pick up this chest. <laughs> this is snake is the quest here Mama, for this. I am but a widow. We lived in peace, but had no they occupied up. I intended to retreat, but the Gwai's need has discouraged all oh. young master. Are you had Venomous Yaoguais have infested the fort. Remember to carry enough her. Young master. Venomous Yaoguais have infested... Okay, need to kill the scorpion lord. Okay, couple of missable stuff here in this secret area. Like this looks like a straightforward area. It is a pretty much straightforward area, but there are missable things here. So, first things first, get to the shrine. Come over here. Let's stop. Okay, first and foremost, go straight. There are seeds all around. This guy will drop his tree core. And there are more of this guy in this whole, what do you say, area. Like two or three more, you and you actually have to farm them the blood of the iron bull there is a particular curio that you have to farm them first pick up this luija tree core till he drops his till then he will drop his spirit this guy drops his spirit you have his spirit now let me tell you a good place to farm this guy for the particular curio that he drops okay uh, run quickly, run, 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 run. Be quick. I'm not picking up any seeds or anything, but you guys make sure to do that. If you have like, any of these plants, if you are in need of seeds, you need to pick up stuff. There you see. This is the guy. See this guy? This is an enemy. So this guy you can farm. He's right next to the shrine. You can farm him. Easy peasy. Not much of a problem. So you farm him, I mean you kill him, you run back to the shrine, you kill him, you run back to the shrine till he drops that particular curio that you are looking for. Okay, that's the easy farming setup that I wanted to show you. I can simply farm it, I hope it takes 2 or 3 tries and you can get it. I hope you get it in the first try. It took me a lot of tries for this guy. But I really hope you guys are more successful than I am. Now this area is a bit of a maze type area. You see there, right after that, there is another shrine over there. There are some enemies. Yeah, that. That is a poisonous casting attack. All attacks are poison casting, man. This man sucks. Sucks. But thankfully, shrine right behind him. There is another meditation spot here. I don't remember it very well, but I think I'll be able to find it for you. Don't worry. I am going to rest up. Yes, because I feel like resting up. Not that I need it to. Now this another miserable boss fight. 
You see this guy up there? This is a boss. This is actually a tough boss. Now the problem is he will. You can talk to him. This is actually the Scorpion Lord. How about a quick death with my stinger, you torch-faced monkey? Now leave while you can. Okay. So he is not going to come and fight you. So he fights you when you break his barrel. See? And this is actually a tough boss. Face, I meant to let you pass, but you chose to ruin my day. Now, face your doom. See, this guy does a lot of heavy duty attacks, man. Hi, guys. Are let me use my fan, bro. Okay, now you're pissing me off, man. Okay, I'm not using my fan again, and I am going to. Come on. And your time to die. Okay. Oh, I mean, for them. There you go. First thing to remember, you have to, of course, as I said, break his... There you go, death stinger material that you can use to craft a weapon. And gold trico. Yeah, he does not use spirit, of course he doesn't. Also, this guy actually is miserable. Like, if you complete the chapter 4 boss, like if you kill the main boss, I think you can no longer fight him. So, fight him before you... I finished with it. I think there is a drink here as well. I'm not sure. Me. Just me. Okay, first all out of mana, so I'm gonna run back and rest up. Then gonna continue on with this rest of this. Long fight, man. Okay, now that we have dealt with that, let us move on. Hmm. 
think there is another tree enemy for us to fight over here and see that bridge over there I need to get to it not a monk a monkey monk e okay don't call me monk there are a lot of idiots here who are going to throw arrows at you yeah, there is a pill or something over here Oh yeah, Celestial Registry Tablet. This tablet increases the experience you get. Is this something over here or just a creeper or something like that? I want to get the jump on those idiots that have been shooting arrows at me actually. I know there's a shrine there. Before I go to the shrine, let me check this area. I think this is this will just circle us back to where we were. There are some three codes and some stuff we can pick up over there. There you see, undying wine, drinks and soap. This is what you found this guy for. Okay, then you have the undying wine. Now from here, yeah, we are back to that gate. I think you can go up there someplace. Yeah, I don't think there's something useful over here, but yeah, let's just check it out. Might be a meditation spot that I have been alluding to. Again, monk, not a monk, bro, monk E. Yeah, this is the meditation spot. I thought I will not be able to find it, but found it. Awesome. Hey, 99 to 0 star. Wow. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Is there anything here? No, oh, nothing here. Oh, there are a lot of idiots shooting arrow at me, like this guy. It's his part. And there are the will gather point over here. I don't see the point of going down there. Yeah, I don't see the point. It will just circle us back to where we were, and now you come back over here. This is where we were. We are close to the shrine. So, yeah, go to the shrine, man. Let's kill these guys and go to the shrine. Now over here there is a problem because we are going to fight this guy and he will be guarded by two snipers on his side. Also this guy drops his spirit. So, I mean, not very tough guy but the problem is the guy shooting at us. We got him easy busy. I should pick up this spirit. I pick it up. Don't worry about getting poisoned or whatever. We can get poisoned all we want here. It does not matter. I'm still this idiot. Stop dodging me, idiot. Okay, he's dead. Thank goodness. Oh wait, another fungus. Alright, pick it up bro. There you go. Snake head mushroom. Now from here, you can absorb the skill to do so desire. That guy is still shooting at me like crazy. That guy is crazy. But what can you do? There is a chest here. Yeah. This is a chest. I think this one is another cord or something. And I believe this is the only important thing here on this side. 
till this point. Now I'm going to go and get my sweet sweet revenge. Where are you? Where is that guy? I'm going to get my revenge on him. There he is. Now from here I think this is where the tree branch would have led us. Yeah, nothing here. I just came to check in case I don't want to miss anything, but yeah. If there is something here, it's not of great importance. There might be some materials and of course in your first run you might be in need of farming materials. You don't actually have to worry about that, right? Now we are coming to the end of this particular one. So, for instance, rest up and move on. Now, another missable boss fight over here. Let me show it to you. There is actually a transformation, the only transformation that you can actually miss. No, not the only one. The one in chapter 3 is also missable. But yeah, this is a decent miserable one. So this guy, you see, you talk to this guy straight away. It's been long since any soul has trodden these hidden bounds. Pale, young master. Your face is gaunt. Okay, listen to his dialogue because he actually tells you about a material that you remind me of the venom's touch. As the worm also besets you. An oddity thrives here, the armor worm. Consuming its eggs grants great power. Yet once the larvae hatch, they devour your insides, leaving an undying husk. My fellow disciples, hungry for power, consumed those eggs. And now, most are beyond remedy. Young master, if you will, end their suffering in my stead. They were my fellows. I can't. Mm -hmm. oh, this was the their lifeless bodies bring those eggs to me. Yeah, brings those eggs to me. So you need an egg from someone. Uh, now the enemies around this whole map, one of them will drop it. It's like an. It is actually random, so you can take more than one or two runs. But there's a ninety percent chance that they will drop it. Going in the water, I think there are plants and will grab points. Nothing useful or nothing actually to write home about. Come on, enemies, where are the enemies? Will tiny piece of gold will. Eh. Okay, before. Oh, wait, there is an awaken wine worm over here. Yeah. From here to here to here. There you go. Awaken wine bomb. Congratulations. Now those guys are dead. There is someone over here is going to fight. I believe. Oh, snake head mushroom. Come on, give me those eggs, people. Give me the eggs. I also did not drop that egg. This egg farming can be a pain. It can genuinely be a pain. I did get it in my first try last time, but... I don't know how lucky or unlucky you will be with it. Another chest here, open it up, see blood of the iron bull. Nothing. Mm. 
and nothing. Mm, nothing there. Nothing there, nothing there. Drop down here. Mm, nothing still over here. There is a shine. This one leads to the secret boss fight, but don't do that because if you do that before you have given the aid to this guy, you will lose that fight. Also, now that you've killed Scorpion Lord, I think you can maybe go back and talk to the snake. I'm not sure. Pretty sure you can. There you go. Violet Hail. This is a key item you're looking for. They told you, get it in your first one if you kill all these guys. Did not press the button on time. Anyway, see right behind him. He was guarding a tiny box. Maybe a curio or a pill. Something useful for sure. <clears throat> Make sure you have that. This is your life saving pill. And oh, this is an idiot. That is a disidiot. Fill up my guard. Awesome. You can fall down, you can get the chance to pick up some will and some items. I don't see the point. But if you want to hey, you can do it. Another chest. There is something useful, maybe this one. This is a payoff I did not take, right? I did kill the guy here. So I take the guy. One guy over there, if you want to kill him, I think he's right next to a chest. Yeah. Oh man, I'm, I'm not gonna run again all the way, I'm just gonna backtrack from here. Pick up these wheels if you want to. Totally your call, I'm pretty sure you will want to at this point. In, like in your first run, I'm pretty sure you will want to. I'm not picking up these wheels because it is pointless, it will just add like 5 seconds to my timer. And I'm pretty sure I've gone on a bit ahead of the time I expected. I wanted this to be a 7 hour or a 8 hour stream. I think chapter 3 took really long. Which has caused this to go really overboard. But hey, what can you do? Okay, now this is actually a whole circle type area. So I think we'll round out back to that Taoist me and now we get to fight him I believe hey there's my sugar snake head mushroom all you pick up snake head mushroom very useful snake head mushroom ah ok see circle back and we are back Say something. Oh yeah, there's a chest there. I did not see open. Let's open it quickly. And now you go to him, you deliver, and he will attack you, and that will be your boss fight. This is another missable boss fight. If you don't do it before finishing the up the secret area, once you finish the secret area, it you will not be able to find this guy. This is a two phase fight. If he kills one, then he will transform into the. Now he's going to transform. Oh, he does that. Fantastic.
And your watch is drives me defeated. And you get the chance to convert like the transformation cell for him. Yeah, the snake is there. I just wanted to check that the snake will come or not. She will transform into a woman. I cannot bring myself to do it. There you go, Violet Head. New transformation cell. Congratulations. Now you can run back to the. Oh, it's from here. In that one. Turn back to the shrine and do the dust wheel boss fight. Another two phase boss fight. But that is all that is left to be done in the secret area. And after that we'll do the final boss fight and that will be the end of chapter 4. And we can say congratulations on finishing chapter 4. You can congratulate me, I can congratulate you and we are all happy. Alright folks, rested up, we go ahead. Alright, now that you are rested up, we go to the final boss fight. This is a little bit tough boss fight, it has two phases. But this is actually one of those boss fights that like if you kill the secret boss, it is actually a good thing because we will give you a very... an equipment which is actually very very useful for the main boss of this area. So the main boss of this chapter is really tough. The first phase is not as tough as I expected. Okay, first phase done. Under transform, and now it's gonna get tough. Oh man, in the air, shit. Are don't freeze him in the air, bro. Oh 
Hey, there's one more lot of damage. Hi man! What the shit? Man, out of mine now. Okay bro, now you are beginning to come on and come to the top of me. First try that got me out of mine now. Really. Will give you the cockerel crow trophy, I believe. Why does everyone? You cannot skip this one. And we are back with you guys. We got punch steel, which is a weapon upgrade material. It is very useful, and the dust will come. Let me think like does it appear now? The little test I was looking for, does it appear now? It doesn't. Anyway, I am not running back, so just gonna use my talisman. And use fast travel. Ah, we are where we wanted to be, the port of elimination. Now, this guy is tough, but actually you can make him a bit easy. Make sure that in your vessel, you have the weaver's needle. Okay, make sure you have that. And now, this is actually a good cutscene, so I'm going to let it play. Please, you must save me. Uh, uh, so... Both my trap and my vessel failed, but how? When I saw him, I... I just couldn't... The destined one then arrived and bested me. 
Now the monkey has ransacked our hollow. A mere monkey showing such disrespect. Your wound was recovering. But now it's getting worse. Fear not. I'll deal with him. But before that, that thing of mine, do you still have it? I do. Very well. Despite all your failures, you led the destined one here. I shall reward you for that. But the thing I gave you, now I must have it. We're gonna kill her, and all her daughters are going to transform into spider. And fight him with her. Also, I did not rest before after changing my vessel. So, when he gets close to twenty percent health, he will kill all the spiders. Oh, there you go. Nice attack. Okay, we killed all the spiders. My needle is not that much. Got the out of my needle. Now I can Ah ha he found in Watch out for the uh Kremer. I will do this to you. This guy has a few phases, but his health bar, like he has a single health bar, so he does not like get his health bar back. Then he is almost down to 30 percent. He is going to use his mega attack. Now I think he is going to use his mega attack. Yeah. You have to wait till he swallows his staff. Yeah, now he's going to follow his sword. And this is a chance to use the needle. your needle and this will take care of everything and I feel it stuns him pretty bad oh 
कमान अरे यार Although I am fighting a thunder guy with a thunder guy, but I have the curio that ignores his resistance, so he is going to die. See? I will ignore the four gun resistance and he's dead. And now, you buy the storyline we carry on. I think we get the cutscene. Yep. This is the animation that shows Zubazi's story, but not in order. Like, he was a celestial person. Then he saw a pretty woman running and he chased her and she was actually a goddess who was having an affair. You see, he saw her and he ran behind her. And she was a goddess who was having an affair. And so he, I don't know, damned him or punished him and sent him to the mortal realm. And there he met this guy, the spider's mother and fell in love with her and all that. And then he left her. Which led to him being here. When he left her, she got a bit resentful and all that. In that is the story. Okay, got a new great series talent. New relic power we can unlock. Ah, level 241, awesome. Only 100 more levels to go, I think. 342 or 341 is the one. And we'll go to next chapter. Yep. Chapter 5, we skip this, we are back with Baji, I believe, so someone's going to keep talking over me all the time, but he's in both form right now, not from that much. Everybody dead? Not everybody. Now Zubaja will go along and we'll be left alone, I believe. Okay, now this chapter is a bit tough. Bring your best, what do you say, fire defense. Make sure you have the best fire defense possible. But actually the secret area and all is not too complicated for this one. Up. I think once you do the secret area of this particular, uh, like once you complete the secret area of this chapter, you can do it. Over there, there is just a will gather point and a couple of stupid enemies. 
can deal with them should you so desire you can choose not to deal with them so totally up to you these guys die swinging so be careful when you kill them someone shooting at me from here where is that guy let me go kill him double check it that my bad Now right here there is a boss fight. Dead right. That one is the pilot star what we're looking for. Don't think you kill him all the way through, just targeting. Half his health down is good enough. And this towering inferno attacks are getting me. Beginning to annoy me a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. Dude got a lot of health man. Okay. Now he will stop and I think all the Ooh, okay there is a cart over there that is putting all this at us. I think if you talk to him this will all stop. Keep talking to him. They're called five element cards. And keep. Yeah, five element cards. I'm afraid they're not a trust me. There's more. Not to hold my ground a bit. Okay, now you've spoken to him. Now he's given you the quest to take care of five elemental cards. So that is what we will do. Nothing here. It's now. No, yeah, no, I'll tell you when I get to it. This guy actually moves around a bit, so you will have to be careful for this quest because you have to talk to him. Another gold tree core and uh, my core and another. Okay, useful here. Uh, just gold iron leaves and nothing is Oh, more chests, I believe. Oh, someone opened all these chests. Who opened all these chests, by the way? I am pissed now. Now there are five cards you have to take care of. Right above, right as you get up from here, you will get the first one. You will be like greeted with the first one. So just take it card. Easy, card fights are easy, not too tough. Problem is getting close to them once you get close to them. Stay on his side and you're pretty much safe for every attack that you do. Nice. 
There you go, Paul got down. And there's a sign right behind him. Let's rest up. Also, as I was saying, be sure to go to the... What do you say? Uh, the ruins were well, like a village entrance and make sure to talk to all the NPCs they will have some new stuff to sell to you make sure you get that all of that uh, these guys explode by the way never they die and they explode big so like what's out for them. but they like all the enemies have friendly fire on so they can end up killing each other actually Everyone dies swinging man, it's so annoying. Fire bellflower and fire date, you need their seeds, pick up all you can. Bats in this area also, uh, fire bats. Not tough for anything but annoying for sure. <coughs> Guarding a chest. Open the chest. Mm, so we can go left, we can go right, we first go right. We think there is a meditation spot, yep. Meditation spot right here. Come over here, people, and meditate. That guy will start shooting arrows at you. This bat will shoot down and die. He told you he will shoot down and die. He shoot down and he died. Come over on the left here. I don't know if there is something useful here to me. Oh yeah, there is a bit here. Not dead yet. This one was something useful, but yeah. <coughs> mm, my god. Now we go up. <coughs> this is the main draw. Yeah. The main draw. Yeah. 
And there is a fill right there, I believe. Are you done, bro? But I am totally done with you. Okay, open this one. So I am converted into will. Pretty sure this one. Ah, off into the explosion. See, we took friendly fire. But these guys have good fire resistance, so they don't take as much damage as I do from these explosions. So I'm not sure how much damage I do take from these explosions, but yeah. Any boy, can we go on the left now? No, we cannot. So oh, there's only one way to go technically, so let's go there. Think we're coming up to the other card? No, we're coming up to the other card. Okay, we Oh, you got me. And another mind core. I think you can maybe farm this guy for mind core if you so desire. Now there's going to be a boss fight over here. Let's rest up first. Alright, oh, rest me back. And my mom, we are going to get into a boss fight right here. Dead explosions are to save or we should take damage from them. If there is no block, we will do anything that we Oh, 
Wait a little. I thought it was. Not that bad. Even from this, I got that armor piece, uh, that's it, or mental or whatever, you know. And you get attention to all that. Think this should be all your things. Now you open this door and continue on the story path. We're gonna start getting attacked at the end of the game. Oh! Run, monkey, run! Lots of enemies here. Unmarring this again. Here, there is a pillar of video in the Let's fight it again. Let's open it, please. Alright, I'm converting it to it. I think it's probably a video or something. There is a lot of people out there and some other enemies. There is a spirit here as well. If not, It is a uh, what do you call it? Ring over there, not sure. Oh. I thought you exploded, so he got out. Oh, 
Or there is another wooden capture if you want. Nothing else here. Just move on. I don't think there is a crest or anything like that. Other than the one which is that will lead us to the boss that 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 is going to be. So then now you have to run up straight or just up. Oh, I leveled up. Very good. Thank you. And these guys are really annoying. Okay, moving on. Let's put some petal to the metal and now put the first part. The grey branch cut out of the is going to start burning, start burning me again. Trick it to hide in these elbows whenever it's doing fire and then run. Run like the wind. My heavy attack. My heavy attack. Okay, we started blocking the way, now it's gone. There is one part which is a bit hidden up. Oh, his face is another boss fight, right? After this one, okay, I think I can do it. Would be able to do it. Two idiots, one is flying. One is rolling.
they are done. Hang on. No, this is another box. And we got a bolt record and finally we can rest up. I am so happy for it. Okay. No, 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 no. There is another pill here that we can get for sure. I have to fish time on the right, I believe. So this is a pill, this is a stamina or a mana pill. Mm -hmm. Master Pig whispered to you just now. I've let go of our blood feud, but he still holds so much hostility. My brother's minions are everywhere. Stay close to me, kind monkey. Brother and I used to play around there. The Valiant Six had their ways of amusing us. What fun we had together. I'll get through this hole, and you can pass by that crack ahead. Going through here. Once you get to this area, you can see the bullpen. Almost dead. Bang <laughs> there, Roman. All the sound you hear will be of the bullpen. Now, over this area, this entire area, there is nothing to pick up. Like, don't even worry. See, there is a bullpen right there. Looks like a goat more than a wolf. First time I saw him, I was like, hey, what's that goat doing there? And then you saw this howling sound that you will hear throughout the whole map. The entire chapter actually. I was like, I kept hearing the sound and I was like, who is that howling? Is there an enemy or something? And I kept looking for him or something. You have to go ahead up there, but I don't have the accessories or whatever utility for that right now. I just follow the fox. Nothing here to pick up. Nothing at all. Down this cliff, there is a secret passage to her palace. She should be there. She'd never give you the fan to be used against her precious son. Do I jump on that? Got it. Quite nearby. Now we are in front of it. This. This is the worst area of the game, like if you don't have good fire defense. Oh, not sure you have good fire defense for the computer. I see, you see the system. They dropped a soap, or a drink or soap, thing called, uh, I don't know, something to do with flame. Flame mediator maybe? It's not flame mediator. Super alarm, by the way. More than whatever they drop to mad damage me, basically. That are a problem. But anyway, come over here. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things that you should keep in mind during this area. The biggest area. And there's a certain area. See the rock type enemies, the fire rock type enemies that we had been fighting. They drop a uh, drink or soap, like a flame mediator or something. Okay, then also you probably definitely need fire dates to get this one. So I'm going to show you all the fire dates. And the trick with these seeds is. Oh yeah, the trick with these seeds is there's another one more right here, let me tell you. The trick with picking up seeds is you can only pick them once every 30 minutes. 
with them again you have to travel to another region like another chapter and then come back and 30 minutes should have passed so, so you can either travel to another region and or do this uh, um, just uh, you know uh, advance your station clock oh you can hold down there from this point on there's lava everywhere and I am going to fall down as well but before that I want to show you the way as it is now let this guy come over here because he's guarding very very dropped a mind door now oh, there will be a lot of teeny tiny annoying enemies that come popping up I'll take care of all of them You get on the lava, you take fire damage and you take a lot of fire damage. So the best thing to do for this one is go to your vessel and you put this fire equipment in. Take me a minute to charge it but I think I should be good till then. Okay, so come over here, this is an enemy. Hopefully no one should fire at me till then. Okay, let me okay now you see this one this is your first fire dead seed okay this is number one remember uh, okay. that's one you one there is one more over here right here One of them will be a seed, like not one of them right away, but yeah, uh, and then eventually. Oh, that's it, nice. Oh, he dodged it completely and even did not get to see the other stuff. He said, and then um, and he said this, and then okay. and absorb the will here, and now this is your horse NPC encounter, the final one, but you cannot get the trophy for him right now, you pull on it, and he'll share dialogue. In death, I desire but to complete. Final cessation. Let him talk till we open this case. Will I for the cards demise? I deem it worthy. If you can't free me from his so this is one of the parts that you should walk away. Kill. And you've already killed him. From death it's life. And from life, death. I should have discerned his malice. Since I've been very well yeah. with kind words, you should depart now. He is saying you should depart now. The horse has answered it. Now the thing is, just talk to it, like keep pulling it till you start putting its dialogue. I beg you to leave my soul in peace. Go. Take the whip now. My soul shall scatter. I implore you to stop. You cannot even see him in such a part, right? 
Start repeating your dialogue, bro. Yeah. So now it's the pinning challenge. So that is our interaction done. But you don't get the trophy and you don't get the this and also transformation until you you have to actually beat chapter five and then travel back to this place. And that is when you can get it. Your interaction is done. But to get the trophy, you have to make sure that you come back here after you are done with. Uh, this chapter. And once you read this chapter, then you get to chapter. Now I've shown you two fighters. Okay, one over here, one over there. I'm going to show you a bit, two more. But before that, let's go and get a spirit. Run all the way over here for some more of this annoying idiot giving us pain. I was mindful of it. Okay, and over here you can get that turtle guy. Iron wool, open up this chest, this head, this hole. But maybe something useful for you. Oh, yeah, it is Kunsu. An awesome chest. Enhance and some pellets as well. And spirit converted to will. So that is one more. We're going to get one more spirit pretty soon. Before that, now let me show you the secret. Area which is on the left over there. Yeah. Go through here, it is a will you can absorb it if you like. It's your desire. And two fire gates first I've already shown you. Let me show you I think four more or three more. Okay, so this is one fire date. Come in handy, keep this in mind of the people. One, this is number two, this is number two, there's an enemy that has popped up, we'll try to attack him. Oh, there is a fox right there, that's for the print cube. I totally forgot about you bro. My bad. Let me kill that bomber. Than I expected him to be. And you got some Fire Festival. I think this will may help me craft my final weapon. I'm not sure. Just check. I think I need three copies for total left. And cheek is one of them. So, five fire dead spots I've already shown you, and this is number six. Okay. Uh, it might be an enemy. So, once again, one. Okay. Two. There's another spirit I've shown you with the Princey boss. Three, this is the third fire tree. And come over here and this is four. Alright? And two are on the map over there. Right over there. One is over there. Right there, you see it? 
Okay, and point into it, and one is when you walk in that direction. So total six. Six you can farm. Hopefully they will, you know, improve your chances. Okay. Nah, I keep forgetting that this attack. Every time I fall. Enough out of you, bro. Don't you think that is enough out of you? Okay, there is somewhere we can go on the left for us. Again, let me check. Oh, there. All the way over there. Couple of enemies may pop out here and there to try and annoy you. Oh yeah, this guy. This is the guy who fight for the spirit. Great, great, great. Horrible. Chest also has something useful, although I don't think I'll get any useful out of it right now. But this chest has something useful. Okay, so spirit converted into will. I are about to go into another double boss fight. And that is oh, celestial ribbon. That is a crafting material that you need. Celestial ribbons are like. Very very valuable to you right now. This is what you need for upgrading all your armor to Oh! Oh! Problem with fighting this guy is that he can lead to you falling down. If you dodge away and you can fall down over there and then you'll be back where you came from where you found that flint cheek guy. So right here, that thing I'm going to skip it. And this is a double boss fight. Give me a second to heal up, will you guys? technique this one and you can absorb the spirit awesome okay oh, thanks for the help monkeys you can vanish okay what is left go out for sure yeah so this is the furnace where you can get the place was like the trickiest part of the furnace where you and you've done it. So three cards have been dealt with as you can see and I think we are about to come on the four oh, yeah. oh, I think it was open sorry. I have to turn left or right or 
Becoming the bomb, the bomb, and we're not gonna land on the fort right now. We rest here. And let me see if I can craft that stuff. I mean, that has been eluding me. Uh, not yet. I'll be able to craft it after a big chapter 5, maybe. Chest over here and a small chest over there with a pill, I guess, or a cereal. That one probably has a cereal, I think. We are making great progress. Every chapter we are making great progress except for chapter 3, which took us a really, really long time. So because the way that chapter is actually designed, you know, lots and lots and lots of stuff there. Okay, so now again another flame area. This guy's shield is not very strong, so you can just attack it and head front and break the shield. Oh. That's not giving me this much trouble usually, but he for some reason is troubling me right now. Don't know why. Anyway. Walk around this lava and kill everyone here. So you go and die. Hey guys, just die. You know I'm overpowered for you. Just why even try fighting? No, you guys should just just give up. Okay, another fire dead head for you to pick up. This is the problem with you. Two big guys over here, you can try. Another fire, you can hear them. This is not the bull king, I believe. Yeah, this guy is starting a chase. I'm going to add another step from here. Now come over here, there is somewhere you can get a light and select my glass for the screen. Now let's go. These are the range guys, these are pretty annoying. Now you see these two. You used to your fight. And when you kill both of them, you get a kill. That's one. And that is two. Okay. Before we fight, yeah, let's fight. No, no. Fight them later. You fight that to come over here. Go in here, and this is your final encounter with the old man. You talk to him, and families with the full gold. Talk to him again. The bull king family strife with the full gold. Okay, so this will get you the trophy and also like I have already done it but you will get the option to give him your gold and he will if the card has been upgraded with all the divine fragments so far he will upgrade it to Supreme Gold, it will be your Supreme Gold trophy and also you are always a complaint. There's another awakened mine bomb I just got for you. And with that said, let's get you another period. Because that is for killing the second one of these guys. First, let's kill this one. Hey, God, man, you are on fire. And this is the normal area you have come to. Oh, 
करना है जो आपको करना है White special waist chain. That is a few of the killing these guys, and then just. Will give you another video or a soap or something. This is like almost a permanent drop. If not, you might have to farm these guys. No, no, you cannot farm these guys because I don't think they will reach me. And with that said, I don't think there is any quest or anything over here. And we are about to enter the queen's chamber. So rest up here. Right, now that we are rested up, we are think as soon as we go up the stairs, we are in a person. This is a double boss fight. You're coming handy. You can hide your secret. Quick on your heels, huh? Well then, boy, let us teach this brazen adulterer a lesson. Fire beast! Your savagery knows no cure. But you will behave once my sourceless water from Toshita drops. Your journey. Now I shall aid you again on your way to death. This guy not so tough. Save your spirit. Problem as you move around a lot.
meditation grant you no wisdom. Transform into the yin and yang fish. Ah, man, the fish is. Hey, dog, you did? But I have a lot of them. Usually I don't play this bad. And it's gone. And we got to select it. Now, a lot of stuff in this area. First, head back. Run back on the way back. Back to Now, on the left, there is nothing, but on the right, meditation. Level 249. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Then right at the throne there is a tag. I will not get it because I already picked it up. Uh, let me show you. Also over here somewhere there is a small chest with a bit. It be thorough in this area, okay? There's a lot of stuff there. Right over here, right here, here. There will be a drink for you to pick up. You see this white bowl type it is empty. There will be a drink over here. On the right over here, I think there is some... Turn up, get up. Turn around. There is a heavy thing that I could be somewhere around there. It might be a chest or something. Oh no, there it is. See? Oh. Stuck in the geometry. Sorry. Don't think I can fall down from here. Let's go around. And around? Oh, now I can. Yeah, this. Right here. Come on. This item converted into very... I'm not sure, maybe I'm not seeing it. There is a possibility that there is one more chest there. And nothing else here. I think we are about to get uh, another card by. There you go, Thunder Claim Seal. There is one increases your mana, I believe. Okay, now this is it. Oh, yeah, this is just right here. And a card will start firing at you when you move on attack. There is a card. Although I think I should replenish my gold uses, but eh. I'm just gonna move on because I think I'm about to come up to another side. Hello, Pulu. Hello, Pulu. 
Alright, enemy here. And another little blue enemy here. These guys are annoying as ever. I you do not be annoyed at all. Appropriately annoyed, that's all I'm saying. Don't go crazy. Don't go screaming or shouting or anything, but yeah, be annoyed. But they are annoying. No point in denying that. You're not going to live in denial. Come on, I should be close to it. Third Now, on the left, there is a ball that is going to start kicking our butt. But for that, let's rest up. On the right, there is a meditation spot. This is Russian first. Okay, now this will be to another boss fight with the Lynxy in there. Where you can farm your Lynxy. In the proper boss. On that Lynxy guys. On me, I am kept now. Where you got it out, bro? meditation spot right ahead of it. You guys can see it, right? I am not the only one of seeing it. Tell me you guys can see it. And it's meditate. There it is a cool thing over there. Meditating is staying right next to him. Okay, level 250 man. Nice. Very, very nice. You cannot go here. There is an invisible wall. Pretty much it. This is pretty much it. Now you are going to get your butt. I might die here. Like I have not died in a long while. I think this is where I start falling because this ball is going to chase the hell out of me. Oh, it's a ball on the road. Oh yeah. I was supposed to go on the right. Wrong position. Alright, so as I said, that ball is a problem and it does kill you instantly. And I honestly don't know where to go against this ball. Come over here, start fighting this guy. You need to stay out of the path if you pretty much. Whenever enemies pop up our safe spots, I believe. This is your other safe spot. Stand over there. Live. And then run. Don't be very stupid to pick up anything over here. Come over to the Let's go 
on goal. Once it holds up, follow it. And go right to left. Yeah. Oh, now run again. Come over here to heal up and grab up some bill as well. Let the ball pass. Just as the ball passes, ignore this enemy, don't start fighting this enemy. Come over here and fight this turtle then. Open up the chest. I can think better. Oh no, let the ball pass one more time. Open, hopefully you don't die, hopefully you don't die. This is maybe a safe spot. Maybe, just maybe, I'm not sure. Oh, this is a safe spot, awesome. Okay, run again. And come on the edge over here. And that ball will fall down and hit now. Oh, it did not fall down. Okay, okay. ready to run behind this ball? Oh, run, bro. No, oh, no, 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 I don't think I'm going to need it in time. Run, 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 run. Oh, yeah. Save. Save by that. Oh, no, let the ball pass you as it is. And just as soon as the ball passes, you run. Next, come over here to stay safe. Now we will run when the ball passes. Um, this might be a safe spot. Oh, this is a safe spot. Awesome. Really afraid of dying to this ball because all one hit kill. Now we are at a cut I'm over here. I found the fan. We'll use Look. the fan. And that will get rid of the ball. Oh, I mean, a big Don't worry. Terrible. His thick skin will protect him. Come on, let's save Father fast. <laughs> okay, now we suppose we have to stay here because this will lead us to the shrine, and we will have to come back here. Come over here and rest up. So, rest it up. Now, if we go on ahead, it will lead to the final boss fight and it will be the end of the chapter. That is what, not what we are going to do because we need to actually go to the secret area and complete that so I can unlock my platinum. And also that ball you saw, you can, uh, that was chasing you, you can actually absorb its spirit. And for that, we will go to the Emerald Hall. The 
come over here to the Emerald Hall then you have to run back all the way like out of the Emerald Hall Let's see these noises that he's making now he's making a lot of noises now that we have almost reached the end and I was like all the time I was like who is making this noise where do I go where do I fight this enemy and all that Come over here and there you see the ball is right there. You guys can see it right? And kill this guy as well. Crap. Use up my guard because I'm going to place uh, this stand here. You can take this. There you go. One more spirit for you. And now use your talisman and get back to your So now that the rolling ball of thunder is gone. And the fan has been used, the fire in the area that you saw is extinguished. So now we can complete the side quest for all the cards. But that we will have to do something, we will have to take some particular steps. I will show the steps to you, don't worry. But for now we just run. Now you can pick up all these things, yeah, whatever. Now you have no threat of the ball, you are just running freely. I think the enemies will also not spawn anymore. Yep, they are all done to it. But these enemies is not what we are here for. We are here for this guy. Come on, he's alright. Die, bro. Over level two fifty one. Maybe even to level three hundred. I don't suppose I will be. Gonna take a lot of grinding. I am not in the mood for grinding. Now you see, there was fire here. Now that fire has been extinguished, and you can come right here to fight a boss. You can go there to fight another boss, or can you not go there? Yeah, that is an invisible wall for now. But don't worry, there is an area which is not an invisible wall. Come here and fight. Your friend Vanguard, this is the guy who spirit I am carrying right now. Friend Vanguard versus friend Vanguard. Drop on drop fight. How many of these stupid enemies are there? Okay, I do not want to die. How's that way, huh? And 
level 242 and 242. Another Samadhi fire pistol. I think I need one more and that is close by. Right here, you can absorb the spirit. Good spirit, this one is the one I am using. And over here you have another Louis of Ignant Wine. She was guarding. Are you sure you cannot go there, right? Yeah. You cannot go there. Mm, there is another boss fight over here. And then there is... What is on the right? There are some builds on the right. Here is that boss that I am looking for. Everybody dead? Yeah, here you fight mother of Lamin. So you can deliver some... Let me check. them from killing all these fire enemies so you will definitely have what you're looking for for by now this we need to mother of family pretty easy boss fight all things considered Mother of Gremlins is head. We get another non point of not of witness, I mean. And some modified pistol. This should get me what I'm looking for. Over here we cannot go. Oh yeah, there is a chest here. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, I did not open. This is a useful chest. Remember what it has, but it is. And now we can oh wait, let me just check if there's anything behind it. Oh suppose I oh invisible wall is behind. So that is it, huh? 
there, there is some red thing at that spot and this is where we came from, right? I missed anything. Nope, that would take me to the other spot. There's some will over there if you guys want it. Only if you want it, right? You know, I don't want it. Maybe you don't want it either. Now let's head to the secret area. I'm going to trace all the now. All the fire crystals are in. There's another fire dead. And now we are at the shrine. Come to the shrine, rest up. This is the cooling slope. Now, what we need to do to get to the secret area is you are a little bit of backtracking. So there is a card that should come here. Let me see. We get lucky. Although I don't think we will get lucky, but hope is a big factor. People come over here, and I'm pretty sure there will be nothing. Yep, nothing. So turn back. And we are going to travel all the way to the start of the chapter 2. You know that Pale Axe Long Vanguard or someone that you got the first boss that was that later told us to go and find all the cards. We need to go and talk to him. So travel to Ashen Pass 1. You can go to either Ashen Pass 1 or Camp of Seasons, whatever you prefer. But the guy we are looking for will be like from the Camp of Seasons, you'll have to backtrack. From Ashen Pass, you just go forward. And then what we are going to do, <coughs> sorry, what we want to do is come over to him and talk to this guy. And exhaust all this I tolerate no evil under my nose, neither does my axe. Bring me more revenants so I can chop them up. Heed my words, the red boy's carts are nothing more than a distraction. Thinks he can outwit me. <laughs> Bah, that brat. <sighs> Make haste and head up the mountain. We must figure out what he is planning. <clears throat> they are called five. Very well. The entrance is secured for now. The king once told. There is a gun. The king once told me. Oh, I think if you go back and rest now. We will be for this. We can just move on ahead. 
You can just turn around and see that he is not there. You see. Right there under the tree, he is not there. So now we go to Emerald Hall. I think. the emerald hall just run past everything and everyone to get to where you got the card the fourth card that was or the third card that you got and look at it that way because the horse and PC card is counted as the third one usually Following the path all the way up, this this will be here. This is where you put the third card or the fourth card, whatever you call it, and he's right there. And talk to him. You brat! You should have spared me. A I can see the game from here. I wonder what's behind. Or uh, I feel blind. We should find the king. The beast we beast is treasured by the king as his own. Now I'm looking for the booty. And now just use your talisman to teleport back. Alright, now when you go there, you will like walk towards that frozen door, you will see a cutscene. Here. See, now you see a cutscene, and there is another card for you to fight with us. This card has matched up that relax the all or like pretty much.
Oh, good up attack. Alright, guard sheesh kebab. Tandoori monkey, anyone? Order up. Now here our pale extra lot is lying. We talk to him and he will put his essence into the door and open the door. Also we got the flame horse. This is a curio that will help you with your resistance it seems. Okay. This one is shattered and then you go here. You go straight and interact with that, that will teleport you to the secret area. Before you do that, on the left, you will see there's a frog. Let's kill the frog. You know what? Go all out on the frog. And just interact with this. Oh, you'll automatically get transported. Sorry. Okay, moving on into the Bishui cave. There are some enemies to fight, and then come on to the first one. This is the secret area of chapter 5. Pretty straightforward area. As I said, chapter 5. Not a lot of stuff to explore and find. This chest up. My item converted into will. That means it was some useful item. Maybe a card, maybe something else. But come over here for the first shrine of this area. Yes, uh, all right folks now from this shrine you actually come to the right over here or the, I mean come in this direction right left over there and this is your final meditation spot of the game this will get you the scenic explorer trophy or whatever the scenic trophy is this is it so there you go all scenic spots found for you congratulations now, moving on to the cave. There are some chests and spots in this cave, but nothing particularly useful. But yeah, the chests are useful for you if this is a first run because you find some celestial rebels over here for sight. to fight the ball. Oh, hi. 
My minions will die, man. I just do left lady. Thank you. 
the drop, that's a fun throw. Fun defending. Something useful. Oh, Bull King's Iron Horn. Okay. There's a guy there, and right on the right, there is another guy. Come on, come on. I just want to face one of you at a time. You're not dead, bro. Come on, man. I expected you to be dead by now. Well, now they're all dead. Okay, now that that spirit has been converted into win. Now some of the curios and some soaps and stuff which you will not find through this guide are the ones you have to grind for. Already pointed out all I know, but I can it is possible of okay. You can go either way. I'm gonna go this way because this leads to a place. Although that also leads to a place. Very useful for you there is an invisible wall apparently. This is a sliding spot. I don't think anything else there to do. Except move on. Move on over here. I think we're about to come at a big slide now. From which it is actually very easy to fall off and die. I have died to it. I'm afraid of dying to it again. Hopefully I don't die to it any time. Another celestial ribbon. There you go, big slide. Balancing on this slide is a bit tricky. No, but not so tricky. Okay, we are right at the end now. We are going to fight the Bishui Ivy Beast or Bishui Golden Ivy, whatever. That guy is a little drop. Before that, I think I can craft my weapon. Oh, yes, I can get the trophy for the weapons right away, people. 
to work on this. And I have, oh, I need one more whole thing I don't want, which I will get now. Okay. Before I craft that, let's rest up. And let's get ready to rumble. Now, this guy is actually a tough no piece. So, use your medicine then for this one. Let's say, nice tigers are going to build this. And collect and turn it and stop. This guy is just gonna come out making an attack us. Die, bro. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, that put us right out of the secret area, but we need to go back there for one more thing. Go to the inventory and you. Okay, back at the polling slope, as you guys see, so we were still getting equipment, so now I can get my platinum drop. So, go to craft, craft weapons, and first things first, craft this sharp iron staff, go to craft. There is my staff and spear trophy people, that's all the staffs and spears you can get in the game. And also go to craft armor, and craft full king charm and armor. That was not my armor trophy. How was that not my armor trophy? Like I'm missing something. But anyway, now that I have the full bulking set, I am going to equip it. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm going to move around like the Bull King. So, before we go on ahead, go back and travel to the secret area. Corridor of Fire and Ice. Now, this is the Sewer Tree where we caught the visual Golden Eye Beast. When you go in, there is more stuff that you can pick up now. Over here there is a fire deck for you to pick up, if you so desire. Over here there is an awakened mine bomb, which will now get converted into will. There is some will absorb over here. And like till here is the point you have to get to. If you keep continue on, you will actually find out a lot of cut content from the game. Which is, this will actually lead to a boss arena. As you guys know, this game was supposed to have 12 chapters. We only got 6. So, you know, some of the cut content they could not get out of the game before release. So that's it. Now, again, you have your talisman. I would say, because you cannot pass from here. And now we can finally go to the corridor, oh, sorry, the broken furnace shrine, whatever it was, yeah, the fallen furnace and crater, and finish the chapter. Alrighty, folks. Now let's go and finish this chapter up. Father, I brought him here. It's the destined one. Brother is not around. You can hand it over to him now. Her down. But first, I should burn you two together and mix your ashes to honor your friendship. Entertainment. Okay, first face done. I 
Yeah, this is Cody Boot. Oh, the irony. Cody Boot, not the boot. Tell me then, is my kind destined for extermination? Hey, you are coming. And we are done with chapter 5. Congratulations. The Akshas are the mightiest of the eight legions, after all. Be your body hard as metal. Meeting death in scores is inevitable. Yet, why did you endure the fish and those carts just as poorly? <laughs> you rush like wind with a clouded mind. It's your desires that shape what you see. Had your mind been less unsettled, would you still have fallen for that child's play? Haste oft blinds while patience illumines. Next time, can you still fulfill as Wukong without Baju? There you go, one more relic. Now to the final chapter, people. Gather the five relics, just as he said. All we need now is the sixth one he has. <laughs> Curse these wretches. Hey, see? I knew there was something that would have told us. Otherwise, no one up above would bother to ruin this place yet again. They're coming for you. And Bulking's armor is not working as well as I wanted it to. Taking a lot of damage in there. Rest up. This is okay. Now we outfit. I should rest because my mana is increased. Also, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You should put the plant in time. Oh, 
Okay, now we are about to fight the Supreme Chancellor and this is a tough, really, really tough boss fight. You know, equip whatever you want for this. There we go. Now we go into the fight with this guy. Now this day will be your last! And this guy actually does a ton of damage and has a ton of health. No easy beast. Grab attack. Come on, die bro, die already. There you go. Come back to Prime Inspector. Very tough boss fight. Alright, this will give us something awesome. Watch 
Shoot's gift it is! It's Wukong's somersault cloud! <laughs> I was wringing my brain how to fetch you, but this savvy one's already on it! <laughs> it must have been hidden here amongst the mist until it sensed the relics on you. I'm not That's to them who called its master and saved your skin. Now that it answers to your call, why not make good use of it? Ah, your mortal body is too heavy for me in my wind form. <laughs> All these henchmen of the court, what draws them to this mountain? Let's find out! Okay, Mount Wavo. And we have the Samasaurus Cloud, which is awesome. And we got leveled up and some new power of the I was supposed to use the Samasaurus Cloud, but then. Oh, yeah, press down on the TV. Now, there's actually something that I. Missed in my initial run, <coughs> which is the reason I don't have the platinum right now. Like, if you come over here, you see this is the shrine. I wait, wait, wait. This one, this is your shrine, right? So, from the shrine, pick up the summer sort of cloud and go all the way over here. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and go up. And I believe yeah, this is the spot we don't know. I see this golden chest. This is the armor piece we didn't forgot to pick up. So pick it up and that will be my platinum. And the rest of the trophies for you guys. Golden Fangtail Crown, Golden Suzy, Gold Suzy Armor, Suzy Bracers and Lotus String Crafter. These are same as your Wukong armor which you are going to unlock in this chapter but these have difference. Alright folks, now that we have our platinum trophy, let's go and finish up the rest of this game off. Press R1 to dash with your controller, X to ascend and you can just you know maneuver with the right stick whenever you wish. So this we are going to fight a couple of bosses. The first one we are going to go right down here for him and the second to touch the ground he is going to attack you. Come close to the ground and here, yeah, there you go. Try all this And he's gone underwater. There's an attack he does after that, that is very 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 annoying actually. Oh, he's underwater again. Down. This is tough. Did a lot of damage. These guys are doing a lot of damage. I'm not liking it. Now, the problem in this area actually is that there are not a lot of shrines around, and actually, everywhere you go, it's a boss rush. Go fight a boss, and then you have to, you know, heal up and do stuff. So, first, let's go and get the armored rhino. It is, I believe, yeah, the armored rhino is what we are looking for. Oh, he's up there. 
Where are you, armored rhino? There are some regular or normal type enemies here. You can fight them should you so desire. That is a fang tail general. We'll fight him later. Oh yeah, this is where you fight the armored rhino. Don't go there right away. First, there's a shrine here. I want you to get to the shrine. I'm hoping we can get to the shrine. There's the shrine. Let me use the shrine before I get into the fight, please. There you go, rest up. And now we are about to fight the armored rhino. Come over here, there's a cutscene, I'm going to skip it. And now we are going to fight this cold armored rhino guy. Break his horn to take off his armor. Otherwise, he does keep regenerating his horn. Mm, don't run away, I know. Doing a lot of damage right now. Face me and Ow! Oh, you don't die! Oh. There you go, World Armored right now. You're gonna die and you're going to get another one piece of your armor. So it's like four enemies you have to kill to get four pieces of the Wukong armor, which we are already wearing actually. Hmm. 
and this way you can keep getting different pieces and now we can skip this cutscene so two enemies dealt with okay now as i said the problem with this area is that there are not a lot of shrines that you can rest at there are a lot of enemies that you need to fight shrines are a problem again get on my and where is the, where is the shrine i don't need to rest up so let's get to another shrine then and that is the cloud trading bear there is a boss fight over there with the final toad i think let's do that boss fight this guy put poison and i don't know what not all effects on you actually land bomb He's not just fighting us, he's fighting everyone that... Rock solid now for use my fan. Okay, these idiots are being the real pain. Okay, now he is in stone mode. I don't know when if it will pass. Let me just start with my. Ah, crap, that's significant. Oh, and he's down. Thank you, idiots. You helped. A lot, actually. Now you can die, idiot. Oh, okay. These archers. Corner at them. Corner at them. So, that's almost every enemy done. There is still one part of this. Oh ho, Archer! Come here, man. Now you're done. Thank you. Okay, now let's go where the lightning is falling. Because there's a shrine there, we can rest up. This water, I don't think this water has anything. Not anything particularly for us. Sure. Also, killing that final toad would have given you the trophy for uh, what do you call it? Or defeating, like uh, I don't know, for all the toads, it would have given you all the toads. You now there's a shrine here. Before I get to it, where it is? Yeah, there it is. Let me use it and rest up, and we are going to fight the cloud trading deer. All right, fall down again for cloud trading deer. 
hit my butt with a cyclone attack actually. I just the guy who I called easy turned out to be the tough monkey. Huh? How is that fair? How is that fair? Let's kick his butt this time. Stop doing this, please. Oh man, it turned off, off, turn away. Oh crap, Tastic! Just when I thought I had him. This is the attack that got me last time. Tons and tons of cyclones this guy is choosing. Oh! Okay, enough with these I clone one. The my thunder of storm is doing nothing to him actually. Okay, let his cyclones pass. And he's gone. Oh, there's another face after this. Don't tell me. Oh, crap, that's it. We are so screwed. Okay, I was not ready for this.
everybody attack him. There you go. There you go. See, I am OP. Even with such low everything. Hell then all I was like lags go for broke man. Kid, when you step up one day, try not to forget your uncle Bajir. All I got from Wukong were the nasty jobs. You should do better than that. Now we're done here. Time to move on. Okay, Uncle Bajia. Oh, am I healed up or what? I am healed up. Oh. Okay, so now with this done, there is a Fangtail gen uh, General left, and there is another enemy left. There's nothing here. I'll roam around if I say there is Son of Stone that you have to fight now. That is a pretty easy fight to be honest. Mm, that is something else. Right? Oh, this is Poison Seed. Are yaar, these people keep doing up my heavy attack. I'm so pissed at that. Die, bro. Okay, poison chief did it with. Do you get a spirit or anything? I doubt we do. I didn't even know this guy was. Uh, I thought he was supposed to be on the other side. Okay. Over here, there is son of stone. Where are you, son of stone, bro? Okay, there you are, son of stone. Let me land somewhere around there. There it is, the Son of Stone. Everybody 
further. Son of stone done. But I think we get this. No, no, we don't get this either. So, now that we have Son of Stone done, there is a giant Xiangdang we can fight. Before that, let's come over here and activate the shrine so that we can rest up because we do need to rest up. And we need to rest up is right here. This is a story area. You have to come here. Where is the shrine? Here now, let me see. Supposed to be a shrine as far as I remember. This is water garden cave, you can go through it. I think you can go through it right now, but the point is you have to go through it after you have gotten all four of your armor pieces. Don't see the shrine here. Cannot access. So I think I'll have to travel to another shrine then because I need to rest up. The next shrine is there. Here this cold tree. tree is the shrine. So come over here and rest up. Making good progress in chapter 6. Okay, now before I go to Giant Shandan, there is actually another boss can fight deal with here. I don't know if this is also poison tree for someone else. There is for sure someone over. I am pretty sure there is someone over here. I could be wrong. Down that I have buried with poison tree. There is a town that they may not. Okay, this pantel, you know, you see the spot that he is on right now? This is what this is the spot where you are supposed to get on him. Don't try to get on him at the other spot because it will just not work. I have to do a boss fight over there, I know, but let me just check if there is some. Nope, nothing here. Here you'll find the water ward beast or something. You see that water come is gonna come out of that. I'm just gonna again dive into water and do a lot of attacking stuff to us. Which is super annoying. Okay, are you done bro? And again you finish. This guy is easy to kill but he does uh, he has the attack thing damages. Oh crap. 
And he's in again. Oh, I'm getting really, 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 really good. Oh, crap. Stop dancing around, man. Ah. Oh. Finally! Oh. Thank you for dying, bro. Now let's go and get the Sentinel General. But before that, let's rest up. I'm coming from danger. No, hold on. Okay, now that we have rested up, we are going to fight the Fangtail General. And actually, before fighting him, make sure that you have a fireproof mental liquid. And in your curios, bring anything that gives you fire resistance. I think flame or will do great. Now it directly increases on resistance. Yeah. This will do what? Awesome. This should do it. Now rest up so that your fire blue mental is charged. And now let's go. That's the strength in general. So come over here. This is the best spot to get him. Right there. Now wait for him to show up. Gonna take a while. Okay, he's there. Let me see if I can get him there. I can pretty much get him there as well, I believe. Don't jump before I get to you, can tell general. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, now just hold R2 and keep it held. This will take off your stamina. You pretty much have enough stamina at this point, so. You don't have to worry. The spot where I climbed on him and this is spot where he landed. These are the only two spots where you can actually, you know, get him, uh, like, be able to fight him. Because any other place and he will just now you can clutch him again before you do that. Oh no, I was supposed to activate my fireproof mental, I did not. Fantastic, I'm gonna die. Okay, I do have play mob, so I might not die. There is a good chance I might still die. Oh no, we got him. That's it. Having play more than fireproof mental was wonders for this fight because and that's it. You got the fan tail general as well.
that is your helmet and that is fine case general time as well now uh, i think we just have the giant shangdang left and the mantis now when you get over here you will get a cut scene with the mantis so if we go to a shrine we will be forced to fight the mantis but before we fight the mantis i want to rest up and you know of course it took my fan back up so come back here to the shrine and rest up there first and foremost get my fan back and also get my Ignore the enemy soul and resistance, which is important for me. Now rest up. Now we are going to do another trophy. This is the spot where we fought Son of Stone. You guys might remember. I was trying to put the giant Shandan fight off till the last moment, but uh, because I was like, this is actually one of the more annoying fights of the game. When you come over here, you will see there is a break in the canyon all the way there. Right? This is where you need to go to fight the giant Shandan. I am not sure, but maybe there is a shrine beyond this point. Okay, is there a shrine beyond this point? Before this guy. This guy is actually not a very tough boss or anything, but he's very annoying because he does a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Oh no. So get on your cloud and make sure you stick close to the ground while getting close to him because he is going to make you fall down from your cloud when you get close and you need to make sure that you don't take fall damage. You see that? Did you fall down? Now this giant shangdang stay in front of him. Just stay in front of him because you want to get him to stomp his hands on the ground in front of you. So make sure you stay in front of him. First attack is going to do probably a swift attack. Move away from it and then just stay in front of him. So that will smash his hand down. This is the range you should aim for. Yes, this is the range you should aim for. And smack his hand. When you get close, he's going to smack them again. And now his hand is going to be stuck here for a minute. back away because it has a stomp attack that can insta kill you stomp for one
Defend, 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 defend. Hey, don't move it. Don't move this hand, my friend. Ah, fantastic. Yep, he's done. Uh, just run up and climb him. Uh, climb him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And now you'll be greeted with the cutscene, and then you can finally hit the Shangdang. There you go. Perfect. And this monkey will give you the pill on his head. And the monkey vanished again. And we fall down and he's going to be uh, There you go people, your giant Shandang has gone underground. And now you got a stand of consciousness. Let me show you what to do with this right away. Hang on, let me see. Do I have full health at the moment? Nope, I do not. You know what? Let's teleport. Okay, now the pill that you have, what you need to do is you need to travel to the village entrance and give it to Zoo Dog, and he'll give you a pill that will increase everything: your mana, uh, health, and stamina. It will st uh, increase all three stuff, and that will be your trophy for getting all the pills. Because I think I've shown you all the other pills. I'm just gonna run around and show you all the spirits because some of the pill chest I am not seeing pop up for me. But I am pretty sure I've shown you everything. In case you miss one or two, you can check my walkthrough or like the chapter wise walkthrough and you can get them. But I am like almost 95% sure that you have them. Show the five Might I? And make five Sundas. And he's gonna make a pill that is going to that item or sadly got converted into will. Okay, now travel back. And when you travel back, go to Mount Wago, go to Mantis Catching Swamp and you will be greeted with a cutscene. There you go, we are at Mantis Catching Swamp and He's going to eat something and then we're going to be fighting in his belly. This guy is a bit tough. Like first phase is easy, second phase is tough.
en tu face tú. No, el damage es going to go mad. Come on, man, take sky, bro. There you go. And this will give us the arm guard. didn't repulse you well you nice it. Prepared. it wasn't all that bad eh <laughs> now that wukong's armor set is complete we should go to water curtain cave come with me and that is it people you get another gold tree or spark and what not my core and shine core no anything and everything you have been looking for so far so now because we have done everything yeah we have done everything here is this the way to water curtain cave no this is the way we have fire poison tree yeah this is the way to water curtain tree and go here and this is where you pick up the final what do you call it? Uh, go here. pick up the final piece of Wukong armor which is the Jingu Bang but we already have Jingu Bang we have weapons stronger than Jingu Bang at this point but yeah Jingu Bang not bad either and this is going to be some running around we will have to do Go right here and jump on. That is it. Through the water curtain cave, and now we just follow this route. But this particular area is a lot heavy on my PlayStation system for some reason. I don't know why, to be honest. But it is. Like my PS5 gives heating warnings and what not when I'm doing this. Thing. I cannot even tell you. I do a couple of will gather point or what not over there but right. see this pole right there this is the jingu bomb I'm going to get it don't worry come over here and it's going to be a really really long cutscene let's hope I can skip it now we we'll start acquiring this one Cannot skip this one as well. Hold oh, right. Now let's move on. 
now we are right about the end at the end of the game but before that when i get to the next shrine from that point i am going to go and pick up anything i might have missed yeah, there we are at the next shrine the guys just ahead and do the secret ending stuff for you as well so come over here and rest up All right, folks. Now we move on and go to the ending of the game. Also, uh, you will not see it in the edits, but I went around and checked the whole area, and I actually have found all the spirits and everything else in this game. I think the only thing I might be missing for you guys is maybe a couple of pills, like all the spirits we have found. All the formulas and everything we can found in a particular run we have found along with the NG plus formulas that we did craft and uh, got all the weapons I have told you like we found everything so did everything so you must have the materials for everything some weapons and equipment you don't have materials for you will get them in the next what do you call it and. In the like in your new game plus run, sorry about that. Yeah, the equipment or stuff you don't have, you'll get your get in your new game plus run. But these guys are annoying, and this actually this particular path just leaves, uh, works as a place to try out your Jingu Bang. We already have something better than the Jingu, although I do think I should maybe put the Jingu Bang man. Problem is too many enemies. Who the hell am I locked on? These guys are just gonna keep popping, and you can just kill them or oh, run past them. I believe. Okay, well. Stop it! No. Okay, so minor nuances, nuances aside, the trying to tell you is that we have found everything. We have found all the spirits. We have found all the formulas, all armor pieces. Yeah, go, piggy, go. Nice. All the armor pieces, all the weapons. The only thing I might not have found all the curios and soaps as well as shown you where and what to farm for most of them. The seeds also I have shown you, like for seed locations you'll have to run around. That thing is dependent on RNG, so I cannot really help you with that. Like I hope you guys are luckier than me. I had to farm a lot for the fire seeds. And I also had to grind a lot for some armor pieces. Hopefully you don't have to do it. I have shown you where I've gotten the armor pieces, but you know, there is one steel ginseng soap. Okay, I mean that I may not end up showing you, but I did show you a lot of steel ginseng locations where you can farm stuff. Also, uh, rule of thumb is start farming when you are on chapter six. Like if you are, there is an equipment or anything that you want to farm for. Farm during chapter six. Don't start farming before that because that way, by chapter six you have definitely unlocked all the locations where a particular enemy or a particular what do you say? 
with a particular enemy or a particular equipment or a tree or a seed or a plant can be found so that way I believe that if you run through the whole game and like suppose if you are farming steel ginseng so if you pick up every ginseng in the game you will definitely get it but that is you know you will have to look for it. you must know all the locations for the, all the ginseng in the entire game but if you can do it you will definitely get it in one run I think it will be more time efficient like more efficient time wise than trying to just farm a particular area because you, I think every time you rest and every time they respawn they trigger something and I don't know if it is supposed to be in a like suppose the steel ginseng is in the chapter first area and you're farming it in the chapter 2 area or the chapter 3 area then you may not get it till it reaches you know till the RNG triggers for the next area uh, I mean I don't know if I'm making much sense I seems like I'm talking gibberish myself but I hope you get what I am trying to say also I am trying to make a blender and like I'm really making a blender here killing this guy this was supposed to be easy but hey, what can you do? Let's go and run more. Bye bro. Thank you. Oh, I guess I'm done with these guys now. And now we can just run through it. Lightning the lightning gets really weird in this area. And this is another area where I got the PS5 overheating warning earlier. Hope it does not happen this time. Aha! Uh -huh. Have I not have enough of you? You know what? I'm not out of you. Was he dead or what? Come on, die, bro. Enough. Okay, guess we are. Oh no, we're not even doing the boys, are we? So happy, so so happy. Okay, moving on. Please, there will be no more enemies now. Please, no more enemies now. Okay, there are no more enemies hopefully now. Just keep moving, keep moving and... Keep moving. 
So well, in my bid to make a proper, like, comprehensive walkthrough in one part, this is going to be a long one. I don't know how long this video is going to end up being, but I do believe it is going to be around eight to ten hours, maybe, maybe less, maybe more. But it will be comprehensive. Like in this one single video, you guys are going to be able to get everything, all the secret areas you've done, all the secret bosses. Everything in order. You will not miss anything. Any portraits or anything you might have left, you will get it when you start your game plus. Like your portrait count, I believe by the end of this run should be around. Like it will be less like two or three points, or maybe one or two characters overall. Uh, so that you will get when you get to the final run. Now before, right after, right here there is going to be a shrine and right after the shrine there is going to be the main fight which leads to me. Before that we are going to do Erdling Shen, the secret boss fight. So I am going to go ahead here, rest here and then show you where to do the Erdling Shen boss fight. That is actually the toughest boss fight in the whole game and New Game Plus I don't know how it's going to play out. I am going to try a strategy on that fight. And if it, that does not work, I am going to switch back to my earlier strategy, which the video is like for that. I am going to go with that equipment and setup and get that. So, for this, you need to travel to the new west and travel to. Guardian Temple, I believe. Not Guardian Temple. Oh, yeah, the Great Pond. You guys might remember how we found this shrine. There was like a mirror or something like this type of a mirror that we could go into and that would lead us here. And there was nothing we can do here. There's a big area, but nothing much we can actually do here. Also, the next few cutscenes, I'm going to let them play out because they are really good cutscenes. And I mean, you are here for the content after all, so you should enjoy it. Not this cutscene though, I'm going to skip this. Alright, we are in the secret area. Now, this area you can only get after you have killed all the secret bosses in all the chapters. Like, you can actually get here by chapter 5. I think you might have to get the, uh, you know, Wukong armor as well before you can get here. I'm not sure about that. Because I always come here when I am right at the last shrine of chapter 6. I think you can get here right at the start of chapter 6. But right at the start of chapter 6, in your first run, I am pretty sure you will be decently under leveled for this guy. Unless you have ground out some levels. I did show you the grinding spot. And grind out a lot of levels there in chapter 4 that is so first run with Erdling Shen I am going to try go with the strategy of everything I have on right now the plankton fan, fan is supposed to work wonders against this guy and that is what we will be focused on but also the first run actually puts you in such a position uh, right at the start against Erdling Shen that it's tough to use the fan we are not going to be using our, what do you say, pluck of many at all. We are going to be using other stuff, but not pluck of many at all. Mm, you know what, let's just go with it. See how it there. I either wanna do good, really good, or really bad. See the dog sitting up there, he's gonna get up and run to his master. He's a cool see. It's no easy feat getting here. I know you didn't come to keep me company. Mm. 
In your heart, there must be something you can't get over. Or someone you can't let go of. Same goes for me. I can't kill that monkey. No one can. Except himself. But at last, I see. This is the only way. He had no choice. And neither did I. All right, folks. So my first try clearly did not work against this guy. So I am back to what I was doing to my tried and tested method. Here is my equipment list. Storm Flesh Loom Staff, Plantain Fan and the Wandering White Spirit, two pieces of Bull King's armor, two pieces of Wukong armor. I have the Salishan Burst Stone Fragment with the Thunder Flame Seal, Cat Eye Beads and Preservation Orb. In my medicines, I have Loom Gaira Amplification Pellets, Longevity Decoction, Enhanced Tires, Tiger Subduing Pellets and Tonified Decoction. Also, at some point in the fight, I am going to be using this Soul Remigration Trail. Resurrection upon death and also the life saving pill I might use and the one that gives a lot of might Gains a considerable amount of might so for transformation and stuff And I believe there is another hang on E It grants a lot of E No, it does not there is nothing that grants a considerable amount of E But we won't be needing it over here on the drinks stuff come to the brew and i'll show you what my drink setup is as well so that you can see what to do i have sunset of the nine stars with breath of fire which will increase my next enabling strike in cloud step and purple wind peach pit for which will massively increase health recovery from using the golden critical health and one is willow leaf because i will be using the medicine that grants resurrection upon death so this will recover my god usage so the trick as i said as you might have seen in my video already, is to use the plantain fan and you know gather as much key as uh, practically possible to use wandering white again and again because that is what does the maximum damage on him. And right at the start of the battle, here come to the middle of the arena and use the plantain fan. And while the fan is doing its job, use everything else. <laughs> And now run to him. He wandering white with a very 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 good amount of damage. Now oh, there you go. Without any damage we have triggered phase 2. Which is good. Not very good because phase 1 is particularly easy. Now things get tough. Dodge away. This is a story cutscene now. He's going to hit me with his sword and I could not dodge away. I can never dodge away from this sword for some reason. I don't know. Why. Okay, watch me again, boy. There you go, eat my gun. Oh, he dodged it? Back move man. My sword spans the night sky. Swifter than shooting. Ah, oh, saved it. Let me take his shield down. Let me see if I can take his shield down without using my plankton fan this time. 
Is another attack is also a grab attack. Now he's to exercise him. Oh, okay, he's doing his dance now. Awesome. That means we are in phase. Three of this fight. It gives me a lot of confidence. Let me see what Reflect all of this. My turn to the car, but boy. Just stay close to him in this second. Oh, he threw up my heavy attack, man. That's the call on this. Oh, okay, he picked up his shield again. Okay, now we cannot get hit with two, both of the lasers here. And we did not get hit with both of them. Oh no, grab attack. Don't kill me, do not kill me, boy. What comes here after? Oh, save. Saved by that much. Okay, because I'm low on everything, now I'm going to use my full renunciation pill. Show me how far you can go! And along with it, I'm going to use my plant and fan. So I can take a shield down. Don't rest! Oh, thank you for not. Got him! Please tell me I got him! Yep! Gonna let the blood team play out now. Great in try, man! I'm really good against this guy. Go back with me to the sky. Let us get drunk before we continue this fight. I can skip it, but I want to watch this cutscene. This is actually good stuff. This is the content you guys also tend to see, probably. If you don't have the game or something, you wanna really enjoy Such power must 
must be you to you. You should first spar with them a while. All right, we got giant mode activated. Now this time the fight is still tough, but it's not so tough because every time you press triangle, you heal yourself. You know, so just build up your heavy attack. Oh no, good time. There you go. Every time you use your heavy attack, you heal yourself. So just build up your heavy attack and then start taking their weapons. And one by one you start killing them. Like right here. This is the first one down. We got freeze attack now. Now this time I'm going to be using this dragon to hit us and he's gonna die really cool level.
Junge, fuck in there. I wish it was cleaner. So maybe this is because I'm running it in performance mode. I feel critical in that thing. Very good like that.
and this will be your match mat trophy. I hear tell this Yao Guai is I rank a thousandfold above that king. As his sire, he reveres me, and like a deity, he serves me. How dare you think I'm his slave? Kindly chant the loosening spell and release Dr. Thagata, so that you can take back my headman. I can be free the court of the Yao Yao Guai said he knew Surely he is no mere mortal. <laughs> you must be somebody from the court. Great. The journey ends here. The lies why to bring them down. Watch me rip it off. And break free. Tested you at my behest. All for this day. And only now do I understand that fight. No prestige can shackle him. No band can keep him caged. A mortal death for an unbound mind and will. Your journey, though, has just begun. Hey, what's to come of destiny if he steps out of that mural? Yeah, uh, skipping this. Check out this trophy with your own time, people. Just step out of that mural, and that will be that. You get the formula for one more weapon. Okay. And some materials, I believe. But I'm not sure what I get in New Game Plus. But that is it. Oh, two celestial ribbons. Always handy. Kunsti. Always good to have. And that is it. So, that is what you had to do to get the secret ending. Now, I'm going to go and show you the main ending. This, as I said, uh, this particular part of chapter 6 can be a bit long because I'm adding cutscenes to it but anyway traveling to peak of innocence all right so now we are going to go and get the ending of the game again I'm going to let the cutscenes play out and also the final animation the final animation is what you did not see during my first run because I did the secret ending later and I was like why do the ending again just for the sake of one cutscene. This time you can see it. This is going to be one long boat ride and then the final boat. You're here. We're here. Step aboard. Hey, old monkey, I hope this isn't a one-way trip, is it? <laughs> isn't all life a one-way trip? Once you embark on the journey, there's no turning back. <laughs> what is this place? His memories. He'd 
had an eye for the finer things, and a will to wrest them from others. Laying his eyes on, then craving to seize their riches. No better than the Black Bear and Jinsha, I say. He can't have an eye for the finer things, while the Buddha oversees the Three Realms? Well, I hardly think that's fair. <laughs> How insatiable. Not content with his kingdom and title below, he asked for a position in the Celestial Court. But soon after his wish was granted, his joy turned to rage, all because he wasn't invited to a feast. He nearly ruined the entire Celestial Palace. <sighs> Years fume at unfavorable news. As untamed and ungrateful as that yellow rat. <laughs> beasts are beasts, don't you think? He was young. He didn't know any better. Hadn't learned from the Buddha or our master yet. Aren't you being a bit harsh? Dredging up the scandals from his youth? Like his adulthood was any better. Since his release, he had claimed to have learned manners and discipline. Yet his wee Frankenchurche gave him away. <sighs> Posing as an idol, he degraded the gods. Clear was his defiance of the doctrines he had learned. Well, he was just being naughty. <laughs> Aren't all great achievers somewhat self-obsessed? Myself included. <laughs> Nose in the air, feeling above others. I say he was no less insolent than that yellow brow brat. Wait, isn't it that... the lady of some sort? Hmm. <laughs> it was her tricks that made Master drive Wukong away. On White Tiger Ridge, he forsook his love. Three times he broke her into pieces, convincing himself his heart would ache no more. Yet, as you must know, he had never let go of her. <laughs> Otherwise, he wouldn't have been so eager to get away from the Buddhahood he attained. Those who talk much of love will one day bite their tongues. <laughs> On this matter, he was akin to you and your many darlings. No matter where you are, you'd always fall captive to the web of mortal desire. Why bring me into this? True, I don't have the wits to break the web, but he had torn his way out since that day. <laughs> Take a look, Bajir. Can you see? Many of your good friends are here. We're just fair-weather friends, that's all. But they are still friends, aren't they? <laughs> so you say, so it must be. These old buddies. I think none of them ended up well. Indeed. For ages, countless gifted souls have walked this earth. Yet of them, how few have forged everlasting greatness. Do you know why? Injustice? Never has it been just. Misfortune? Fortune is simply humility in the mighty. Well, mayhaps. They simply lacked my charm. <laughs> <laughs> Gifted they may be, yet strive they not. Content with little, and lost in lust. Seek the ease, yet crave the renown. They yearn for freedom, yet aspire to Buddhahood. They always want both, yet nobody can, and nobody should. Such was the folly of the Bull King and Wukong. Destiny's favor calls for the resolution to sever all desires. You should mark well these words. Hold on. 
This can't be Wukong's memory. You're fooling us, aren't you? <sighs> Five of the six relics call for one. Ajie, tell me which. Eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and mind. Mind, it's mind. What did you just see? The three of us? That was the last one. Oh, I see now. It was you. I knew it from the beginning. You were the mind of Wukong all along. That's why you led us here. Not me. It's him. Don't make me laugh. Him? He is Wukong. Yes. And no. Cut to the chase, will you? We didn't come this far for your riddles. <sighs> After Wukong died, five of his six senses endured and were taken by the Yao Guai kings. Only his mind was lost. Mind is the first of the six. It's the essence unique to every life. Therefore, it's destined to fade away at life's end. Hold on. You mean Wukong's gone for good? Never to return? You old bastard! You've been lying to us all this time! That Wukong you knew will never return. But what made him remains. The universe will always bear him a successor. One who shall carry on his name and nature. This chosen successor is the destined one. Nameless you were. Yet perils and mighty foes you've braved to recover his relics. Your will now stands resolute. Worthy of his power. You mean this boy is to take Wukong's name? He's not! Son Wukong is long gone! <sighs> but yeah, deep down, you know he wasn't all that perfect. <laughs> now that he is dead, this one perhaps shall bear the name in his stead. Venture forth with you no further. This task is yours alone. Sun Wukong left behind a broken shell, stripped of all his six senses. Though ages have passed, it maintains a connection attuned to the echoes of his former self. If you truly are the one destined, you must cast aside his soulless shell and merge the six into one. Then, you shall be the one to begin the journey anew. No, not on his own. He's just a kid who knows nothing. I'll go with him. This place is shaped by Wukong's lingering obsession. It allows only his relic bearer to face Ordeal. We can escort him no more. See it for yourself. Hear me, son! You can always run! You don't have to bear Wukong's name!
There you go, monkey. Time to die. Let's go. That was your light. It does not mean you can strike me anytime you wish, bro. Damage is going to go way up. I don't want that to be friend, but let's go. Seriously, AOE attack on this? I'm going to die. Oh, okay, so I'm going to be done. More of a stream.
You must have heard tales about him. Some say he helped Tongue Monk fetch the scriptures, was granted Buddhahood, and stayed on Mount Lingshan thereafter. Some say it was not him who was granted Buddhahood. The real him was already dead on the journey to the West. Some say that the journey never happened. He is nothing but a monkey who lives in some storyteller's tall tale. <laughs> but now, you will hear a tale which no one has ever known. This is a good ending. What does it matter if you become a Buddha? That headband has always been on your head. <laughs> Keep those eyes wide open. Watch me rip it off and break free. Soon will come. When you defied the Celestial Court, I had to seal you beneath the mountains with my immense power. Yet, after enduring punishment, you embraced the dark, uplifted good against evil, and subdued Yao Guais throughout the journey. For your contribution, I now bestow upon you the title of Victorious Fighting Buddha. He defied the Celestial Court, and the Jade Emperor imposed three ordeals. Only when the chicken finishes pecking the rice, the dog laps up the flowers, and the lamp burns through the key, the rain will fall.
there you have it people that is the good ending of the game as i told you so uh, about the great sage shell that is actually an annoying boss fight because that guy does not give us a very long lot of chances to attack him and he is just relentless on his attacks but Losing the yellow loom transformation helps a lot, as you guys saw. And rest, like, you know, you can use, use your medicines or your skills or whatever. Not very tough, but a little bit annoying. Anyway, with that said, this brings us to the end of my Black Myth Warcom Platinum walkthrough, the comprehensive New Game Plus Platinum walkthrough, wherein which we get all your trophies. I have shown you all the collectibles, all the pickups, and everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to skip this cutscene. I honestly think you guys enjoyed it and I hope I was able to help you out with anything that you might be missing out or might be looking for in your journey. That's it. I had a lot of fun playing this game. I am so glad I did the Platinum. The Platinum for Black Myth Wukong is also my 20,000 trophy. You can go and check it up on PSN profiles if you so desire. But this, is go uh, this was good. This was fun. This is going to be a long stream. I still don't know how it is going to end up once it's edited. But any which way, thank you so very much for tuning in. Please do remember to like, share and subscribe. And as always, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, please stay safe, stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games. This is your friend Galactus, signing off.